and be in an attitude of learning. So now that we are all set, let's welcome our product spotlight speaker for tonight. So he is a Yozana Trainers Guild certified product trainer and our goal director. So next gen, our very own, let's all welcome engineer Josh Reyes. Hi, coach. So good evening, next gen. So good evening, everyone. Okay lang ba? Patayin sa chat. If you can hear me clearly, can you please type? Ako yun! <laughs> Yan. So dapat daw mataas ang energy. Kinakabahan lang po ako. Kaya po medyo nagpapadelay. Pero I only have 15 minutes for this. I hope na marami kayo matutunan for tonight. But uh, what we're going to do for tonight is we will be... Po, this is the new segment of of next gen for you to concentrate on the product. But for tonight, we will have something different. Last two weeks, uh, two weeks ago, Coach Mai was able to, to tell you the competitive advantage of our cell essentials. So for tonight, we will be going for the application part of it. Sino po sa inyo nahihirap ang mag-auto-order? Taas ang kamay. <laughs> Sino po sa inyo nahihirap ang mag-boom ng, mag ng products? Sino po sa inyo na na-experience po yung parang yung pakiramdam mo parang bakit walang bumibili? <laughs> so yun po yung pinaka ano, yun po yung number one na ano, concern po ng most of our associate right now. So I I feel you and ano, hopefully sana makuha natin yung para ma-address po natin yung concern for tonight and I'm so excited to ano to to address this concern with you. Let me share my screen to introduce myself first. So of course kinakabahan ako. I think this is the first time na I will be talking to Monday Hustle. Now, without further ado, let me introduce myself first. So, my name is Josh. I am a mechanical engineer by profession, but uh, I don't have any background in sales or even in, in, in nutritional product before you, Sana. But in you, Sana, one of your, goal, of your goal directors and a certified product trainer as well. So, as you already know, uh, you, Sana Corporate is searching. Ikaw yun, di ba? Pwede masama ka dito. For people, na itatrain nila to be, ano, to be part of the certified product trainers of you, Sana. Meaning, corporate, you, Sana, ang gumagawa nito para sa atin. So, uh, kami po yung nakapasa, yeah, kasama po ano, sa lahat po ng exam na madugo <laughs> ng credit corporate pharmacist natin. So, hopefully sana lahat ng matutunan ko, mapasa ko sa inyo lahat. Are you guys ready? So, moving forward, um, ano yung topic natin for today? Okay, this is not specifically for a product but specific application of how do you move your product or how to get more people to buy your products. So, Sino po dito gusto na ano instead of every time na makita nila yung ano yung good news, 'di ba? Mag-auto order ka na. Ikaw yung tipo na yes, auto order ka na sa wakas. Hindi no hala ko to order ka na. <laughs> Sino sa inyo gusto malaman 'yon, 'di ba? Yun po yung sikreto natin for today. So, of course, uh, moving forward, ang agenda natin for tonight is just since limited lang ang time natin. Number one, how team uh, how important is retailing your business? Okay, that's the first thing that we have to address. Number two, know why people buy. Number three, believe in your products. Very important. How do you increase your belief? Number four, practical tips to get more and more and more orders. And last but not least, how to create loyal customers talaga. Okay, are you excited? So moving forward, okay? So ito po yung ano natin. Ito po ang goal ko for tonight. Ang goal ko before, um, before matapos ng 15 minutes ko is to make you love your auto order. Yun talaga yun. Kung upline ka na, anong pakiramdam mo na pag, for example, sinabi ng downline mo na, Coach, yay! Auto-order ko na. 200 points ang auto-order ko. Gusto nyo pa ng ganun? <laughs> Tapos, Coach, kulang na yung auto-order ko. Paano ba mag-set up ulit? Di ba yung mga ganun yung mga masasarap na tanong? Tama ba ako? Pero ang problema, how do you teach that if ikaw mismo, hirap na hirap mag-auto-order? Number two, teach your practical... Uh, teach you, I would like to teach you practical retail strategies na integrated na sa system natin sa, sa next gen. And number three, make you, make you an independent... Make you independent distributors, literally. Meaning, hindi mo na kailangan umasa sa ibang tao para magkaroon ka ng business talaga of your own. So, okay lang ba? The first thing that you have to uh, discuss for tonight is why do uh, why people buy? You have to understand that. Bakit ba bumibili mga tao? Coach, bakit may mga kaibigan ako or mga associate na kabatch ko na ang dami nilang order kasi ako hirap na hirap ako mag-order. Always remember this. You sell an emotion but you justify a purchase with logic. Sabi nga ni Joseph Sugarman. I like this name. Um, anong ibig sabihin nun? When was the last time na bumili ka ng phone tapos tinanong na nanay mo Tama? Na, magkano yan? Ba't, may, ba't yan yung binili mo? <laughs> Ang mahal-mahal yan. Tapos sabi mo, hindi kasi ito yung, ito yung feature niya. Ito kasi yung ginagawa niya. Ito yung ano, di ba? Sometimes sinabi, sinabi sa'yo ng, ano, ng, ng parents mo, bakit ka nag-join sa'yo sana? Di ba? Gina-justify mo siya based on na nilig mong logical reason. Pero sa totoo lang, the reason why you really decided to, to, ano, to purchase yung sana or purchase a specific product, hindi lang yung sana, is... Kasi emotionally na-hype ka. Emotionally na-excite ka. Emotionally nagkaroon ka ng purpose why you want to buy that, that product. Now, don't get me wrong. Hindi ka pwedeng magbenta ng isang produkto ng pura emotion lang. Do you know why? 
na-imagine na to, have you ever, ever experienced this? You tried selling to a customer na never pa napresentahan ng Yusana, na wala siyang idea kung ano Yusana. What happened? Nag-feel lang niya na parang baliw ka. <laughs> okay? Na parang excited ka sa isang vitamins. Tama? Pero, have you ever tried na puro logic lang yung binigay mo? Binigyan mo lang siya ng link para video about Yusana, pero hindi mo siya kinausap after. What happened? Hindi rin siya bumili. Kasi puro logical lang yan. You have to understand na dalawa dapat yung, ano, yung kasama sa sa presentation system mo or sa retail system mo, which is dapat both emotion, na excite siya, and both logic. Naiintindihan niya kung bakit niya binili. Now, ano yung logical part ng, 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 ano natin, ng system natin, ng process natin, na hindi mo na kailangan magpag-importan? Alam niyo kung ano yun? Yung health and freedom presentation natin. <laughs> Guys, okay lang ba? Meron ako yung note sa inyo. If you're having problem in your retail or product movement, make more presentation. Okay? Kaya tayo din, ha? Make more presentation. Kasi hindi po kusang lalabas yung salsensya sa bahay mo para maglakad at magpapaalam na lang sa'yo. Ano, ano, bibenta po na ng sarili namin, ha? <laughs> so, babalik na lang sila, may dala-dala na silang kahit. Hindi po yon. People buy because of decision based on their logical logical experience or yung mga nalaman nila. Alam nyo ba, guys? Ito, ha? May papakita ko sa inyo. Ang sikreto lang talaga kung bakit marami kang retail ng mga customer, uh, coaches nyo kasi we actually focus on presenting, 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 presenting. We present, present you sana, we present more you sana, and present more you sana, and present more you sana. <laughs> Bakit importante na nagpe-present ka na nagpe-present? Guys, ito ha, people buy within two, because of two reasons. Yung rational part ng brain natin, they actually consider na, sulit ba to? Tama ba yung price na to? Maganda yung quality na to? Yung features ba nito? Suwak ba sa, 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 sa kailangan ko? And ano mo, ano, parang, meron ba talaga tong assurance sa gagana siya? Very emotional is maganda ba siya? Maganda ba yung pakiramdam ko pag tinig mo to? We, people only buy from people na ma- masasatisfy itong dalawang to. Okay? So, ang question na siguro dito, so okay, Josh, nagpa-present kasi ako eh. Marami na naman ako presentation. Bakit wala pa rin bumibili? Kasi logical part lang po yung health and freedom. Logical part lang po yung presentation. The emotional side na to trigger the people to buy is your story. May kukwenta ko sa inyo. Alam niyo na po ito. Some of you already know this. But I have a question for all of you. Ine-ensure mo ba na pag may pinapakitaan ka ng Yusana, nakakwenta mo kung ano experience mo sa product after? Nakakwenta mo ba kung ano experience mo sa business after? I have a lot of associate in the USA na sobrang ganda ng story nila. Yung first time ko marinig yung isang associate ko sa USA, si na Miss Rosa, si na Miss Yes. Alam mo yung sabi nila, kukwento lang nila kung ano na-experience nila sa produkto. Tama, and natural na yon. Kaya sila yung may pinakamaraming PC sign on sa US. Pero always remember this, ha? if you want to sell more, you have to make sure that facts tell but stories really sell. Your story really sell. I have a, I have a story for you guys. Some of, you, some of our, my associates already know this, but this is my story of my mom. My mom has, has a lot of concerns for more than 15 years. So, ang dami ng health concern talaga, like may diabetes siya, may hypertension siya, may hepatic liver siya, and etc. And we're trying our best. Binago namin yung diet niya. Ang problema, hindi, mo, hindi pa rin siya nag improve kasi sa totoo na siran talaga yung katawan niya. When you start using yung sana, pinilit ko pa siya mag-take. And what happened at that time, uh, napatik namin siya and ang ganda na pakiramdam niya sa produkto. After mga two years namin ginagamit yung produkto, yan ang po yung nag niya after two years. Guys, alam niyo ba, more than 4 million pesos na yung nakakrate ko because of that before and after picture na nanay ko. <laughs> Grabe talaga yung picture na yun. Now, hindi, oh, be careful sa product disclaimer. This is very important. Um, avoid product claims to any of your sharing. Product claims are, intent, are, are indicating na your product can actually cure, prevent, or treat any disease. Okay? So, how do you avoid product claims? What we can use is you can actually share that your product can actually help maintain, promote, support your body's health. So ang like ko na kwento sa mga sa mga tao, hindi ko sinasabi na napagaling ng, ng product yung nanay ko in terms of their diabetes and hypertension. Ang like ko sinasabi sa kanila sa picture ko, tingnan mo yung nangyari sa skin ng nanay ko. Tingnan mo, alam niyo ba, ang ganda ng pakiramdam niya ngayon compared before, natulungan talaga siya ng Yusana na mabalik yung healthy, ba, yung healthy body niya. So ongoing pa rin siya sa health recovery niya, pero sobrang daki na ng, ng, ng improvement niya compared before. Kasi that's my story. Alam niyo ba, pag nakikita ng mga, mga pinapresentan ko yun, lagi na siya sa wait talaga. <laughs> so, yun, so, ginjo ko pa po siya po yung sanggol. <laughs> Hindi. Pero, are you learning something new? Always remember that your story sell. Mas marami po kayo mga convert na business distributors sa even customers from your story alone. Are you learning? Now, alam niyo ba guys, 
Uh, another re- another reason kung bakit importante na na health and freedom talaga yung pinaka foundation nyo. Hindi po ako magaling mag-retail, pero I make sure na every time I present to someone, I ask them if they want to try the product na lang. And I I ask them more than once. Ito yung mga customers ko na alam mo yung presentan ko. This is Sir Nico, na presentan ko siya way back 2021 pa. Tapos after a few months, anong nung nung napo-post ako about myself nang sa Facebook, nag-like siya, tapos bigla siya na message sa akin, sabi niya, "Josh, may policy ka diyan." <laughs> May policy ka na diyan. 'Di ba? Sabi ko, eh no, sabi niya, uh, sabi na dito, nakikita niyo yung objection niya, sabi na dito, pass na muna ako, Josh, mag-iisip pa ako paano ma-sustain yung auto order. <laughs> May objection siya. Tama mali. Tama? May objection siya about the business, pero I make sure na sabi ko sa kanya, mag-try muna ng produkto. Sabi policy lang ba? 'Di ba? Tinanong nag-upsell pa ako. And ante, alam niyo ba, until now, yung sinasabi ko siya ng policy and sell essentials. Tama mali. Magaling ba ako mag-present? Magaling ba ako magbenta? Hindi. I just make sure na pag nire-presentan ako, I make sure I ask them if they want to to try the product. Ito pa isa. Tato, 2021 ko rin ito na-presentahan, si Sir Arvin. And right now, they're using the products as well. Okay? So, the number two that you have to understand, bakit ba ganun kataas yung belief ko sa produkto? Kasi always remember, your your level of belief in the product actually reflects kung ano yung level of activity mo in terms of sharing it to other people. I have a question for you. Did you know that Yusana is the only company in the world na kaya mag-claim na actually pag ininom mo to, mapaprevent niya and matitreat niya yung vitamin and mineral deficiency ng katawan mo. We're the only company that can, claim, that can claim that. Did you know that we're the only company in the world with the highest number of Olympians using our product? And these are the testimonies sa kailangan mo talaga mabasa on your own. Always remember, the more, the more, the more facts that you know about Yusana, the easier it gets to share the Yusana products after. Okay ba yan? And of course, syempre yung pinaka-insidigence. Guys, may question ako sa inyo. Sino po dito? Can you please type number one kung nahihirapan kang i-explain ng insidigence sa mga, ka- mga kaibigan mo? <laughs> ano ba yung insidigence na yan? <laughs> Di ba? Nang in a simple term. Okay lang ba? Can you please type number one? Okay. May, may tuturo ko sa inyo for tonight. Gusto nyo malaman yung pinaka-madaling way para ma-explain ito? Ito lang po. Pag sa yung insidigence, ito lang. Alam mo ba? Pare. We're the only company in the world na pag tinake mo yung, cell, yung product ng cell sensuals, iti-trigger na yung cell mo mag-repair. So may triggering effect siya. Tayo lang ang pwedeng gumawa nun sa buong mundo. So ano nangyari? Kaya mas mabilis yung effect na sa katawan natin. Dama? So yun lang yan. It's that simple statement na ganun. Of course, syempre mas malalim pa yun doon kasi meron pa yung micro, mitochondria, meron pa tayo, gina, in, 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 nire-renew niyo pa niya yung mitochondria niyo, may, ano, at tinitrigger pa niya yung endogenous uh, uh, antioxidant niyo. Marami pang mga terminologies sa ganun. Pero do, people don't buy that. People buy your story. Bakit yun yung pinakamaganda? So yun yung pinakalayman's term. Are you learning? Okay? So limited time na lang ako. Moving forward. All right. So, ay na, wala pa ako. Yan. The last thing that I'll be sharing to you, uh, the second to the last thing that I'll be sharing for you for tonight is practical applications. Okay? So, ito po yung, hindi, kaya siya tinawag na practical applications kasi ito po yung actual na ginagawa ko. Ito po yung actual din na tinuturo ko. And ito din yung reason ko bakit sobrang, yung auto-order ko po right now, sure na yung 200 points, pero every week halos nag-auto-order po ako ngayon. So, paano siya gumagana? Ganito. Number one, use your product first thing in the morning. Yan. Um, since nag-pandemic po, some of you siguro nakakalimutan na mag-take ng cell sensuals na. <laughs> Alam niyo ba guys, pag ito yung unang-unang consciousness mo sa morning, pagka-breakfast mo, or pag hindi ka nagba-breakfast, mag-take, mag-take, ka, mag-take ka lang na any drink, tapos ano, ay, any, any snack, tapos inimim mo agad yung cell sensuals mo. Do you know why? Nati-trigger niya yung brain mo na alala na i-remind ka na maganda yung produkto para sa ibang tao. Kasi tinitake mo ka siya. Nare-remind ka kung bakit mo siya tinitake for yourself. Belief is the first step if you want to share more for your business. Tama ba ako? So that's the first step. Number two, hustle to make people know your product. Guys, ito ha. May nagtanong sa akin na associate ko. Coach, wala kasi mo ibili ng product. Nag-post naman ako sa Facebook. Okay? Now guys, ito ha. I, w- I would like to state something. Accept the fact that you're not a sari-sari store. Okay? Accept the fact that you're not a drug store. Meaning, hindi lalapit sa iyong tao para lang bumili ng salsensyas. Accept the fact na you have to educate the people na ang salsensyas or product natin is better than what's available in the marketplace today. You have to hustle to do that. And remember, hindi lang to unique sa business natin. A lot of businesses na nagsa-startup pa lang, normal na mag-hustle sila. Nung tina- the earlier ko matanggap na ma-accept to, na talaga ang mga tao talaga yung dapat talaga ma- educator ako, hindi ako yung parang naghihintay lang ng sale, educator ako, dun bumulusok yung negosyo namin eh. 
Kasi na-realize ko na hindi naman talaga lalapit yung mga tao. I have, to, I have to make sure na ako yung lumapit sa kanila. And last but not least, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, you will, you will never know until you ask someone. You will never know until you ask. Um, kwento ko lang sa inyo, when I was starting yung sana, nag-auto-order ako for six months na wala akong binibenta. Kasi nga hindi naman ako mahilig talaga magbenta when I was starting. Siguro medyo problema yun ng mga technical people kasi hindi naman talaga kami nag- mahilig magbenta. So nag-end up credit card ko lumobo kasi wala akong pambayad. <laughs> when you're back against the wall, <laughs> doon mo talaga ma-realize na mawapwersa ka talaga ma, no? uh, ka talagang mag, uh, mag-grow. talagang mag-grow. So what I did, I asked my mentor kung paano talaga makabenta kasi wala na talaga akong pambayad ng credit card noon. Sino dito nang kaka-relate? Nung may na-discover ako nang sabi ng question ng coach ko, si Coach Gold at that time, sabi niya, "Have you tried asking yung mga people na napresentahan mo?" Hindi ko sila tinatanong. So I list down all of the people na presentahan ko, apparently na sa mga 16 presentations na 'yon. Tapos I asked them isa-isa. Ang isa lang standard kong question, so sir, ah uh, tawag dito. Have you tried, ano, gusto mo mag-try muna ng Sales Essentials? May discount ka kasi today kasi may promo kami. Yun lang yung standard ko. So, binigyan ko siya na ng discount kasi at that time, desperate na ako. So, maski member's price ko na lang ibenta yun kasi may tubo naman ako na 10% sa auto order. So, what happened? Yung first na nakuha ko is yung pinakauna ko na presentan which is yung boss ko sa Lasal. Yung dati kong professor sa Lasal. And until now, more than five years na siyang gumutumitik ng product until now. <laughs> na sa akin siya kumukuha. Bakit? Kasi I, I, never, I will never know until I ask. Doon ko na-realize, every time I ask, maski may nagno-no, wala naman nasisira. <laughs> wala naman nawawala sa akin, pero marami yung pwede mag-gain. So apparently, afterwards, always remember, ha, after mo makakuha ng isang customer, ang next na step mo dito is to make them loyal. Kailangan talaga, ikaw talaga yung bilhin nila. So last two minutes, sorry, bilis ako na lang to. I have, I have two tips sa inyo para maging loyal ang customer niyo. Number one is the one for seven rule. What's the one for seven rule? Um, pag meron kang bagong customer, after one day, tawagan mo siya. Sabihin mo na sa kanya, kumusta mo siya? Sir, natik niya, ma'am, natik niya na po ba yung produkto? Kasi some of them, nabili lang sila. Tapos di nila, ano, di nila tinitake. Tama? E some of them, ay, paano ba buksan to? <laughs> paano buksan to? Ay, ma'am, ganito. Bubuksan mo. Alam niyo ba yung parang, di ba, pag may, ano, pag may, may product ka, tapos may plastic siya doon sa taat ng seal, alam niyo ba yun yung pambukas? So yan, tuturo mo pa yung mga customers mo na gano'n. After four days, may message mo ulit yan. Ma'am, kumusta? May healing reaction ka ba naramdaman? Ay, oo, para naging yellowish yung wiwi ko. At talaga, ay, normal po yan. Nag-detox ka po, o, di ba? At talaga, normal ba yun? Mm-mm. Ah, okay, okay. O nga, para masapadala siyong ano ko, yung pagpupo ko. Ano ba yun? Da- Nagkakadayaria ba ako? Ay, hindi po yung diarrhea. Nag-detox mo kayo. After mga few days, tinatanggal nila lahat ng dumi ng katawan mo. And gawin mo rin yun after seven days. Alam niyo ba, pag ginagawa mo to, mas marami mga tao na makaka-capture na, okay, kaya ako pala kritik ang sana kasi dinedetox siya yung katawan ko. And every time they, every time na kumakain sila ng baboy, baka, napapansin nila, nandedetox talaga sila. And may incorporate nila yung sa sales and shots. Tama? And mas lalo silang bibili sa inyo. And last night, itatip ko sa inyo for tonight, is this. I create loyal customer. I I got this from other my associate. I believe si Miss Mina Pearl Miguel na nag-start, nag-start ito. Uh, pero I would like to get this in this, ano, in this and I would like to share this in this approach. People like receiving gifts, tama? And people like to eat. So, for people to like you, give them a gift that they can eat. <laughs> so, okay lang ba? Every, alam niyo ba yung, ano, yung, yung 15 pesos na KitKat na dalawang finger? Yun yung naging standard ko na gift. Tapos, every time na may, may nire-recommend, ako, may nire-recommend sa akin, may, one time may nire-recommend sa akin isang customer kay Mr. Sir Arvin yun, sinabi lang niya, ay, umorder ka kay Josh, may KitKat ka pag bumili ka sa kanya. <laughs> so, nakaka-extra nakaka, points yun, di ba? Extra para order yon Tapos, meron pa akong bagong customer. Are you learning? Now, let me, ano, let me share this to you. Because of those techniques na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, I got I have already more currently I have more than 30 uh, loyal customers that reordered three more than once currently and this last week alone we were able to sell more than 400 points worth of product because of my 80% of those are loyal customers ko na meaning nagreorder lang sila Ano problema anong anong problema mo anong gusto anong gusto mo pagdarating yung time parang alam mo yung nagreorder ka na lang nagreorder na lang sila tapos sila problema mo pa yung auto order Tapos pinamamigay mo na lang yung auto-order mo. Ayun yung masarap pakaramdam. Ay, meron ako extra. Gusto mo pang auto-order mo. <laughs> Sabi mo sa downline mo, pakwit na. ba? Now, this will be my last note for you for tonight. Next gen still focuses on the 3S. Always remember this. 80% of your success will be part of your sponsoring. Because of sponsoring. 20% is just for the sale. And 100% will be dependent on your service mindset. Pero bakit ina-emphasize ko to? 
most people quit USANA simply because hindi sila makapag-auto order. Some people nagsastop sa USANA because hindi sila mga pag upgrade Some people ano may I'm not saying I'm saying of course syempre most people they have to they have to grind, 'di ba? They have to stay, they have to pero nat i-mind set natin talaga sila na you have to you have to stay kasi para you stay long enough para matutunan mo kung paano gawin 'to. Pero imagine what if may mabawasan mo yung mabawasan mo yung associate mo na nagko-quit kasi hindi nila problema mag-auto order. I have a lot of associate right now na kaya sila nag kaya sila active sa business hindi dahil nakakapag-present sila o nakakapag-invite sila ng maraming downlines simply because marami silang customer na mas hindi sila nag-business so, o oh, nag-order sa kanila. Tama mali. And let me give you this. Ang goal natin dito is darating in time. Mabawasin yung mga tao na nagsasabi na ah, nag-join naman ako sa Yusana pero wala nangyari sa akin dyan. Gusto natin madagdagan na, ah, nag-join naman ako sa Yusana, pero until now, gumagamit pa rin kami. Uy, kumuha ka kay Camille, kumuha ka kay Josh, kumuha ka kay, kay Javin, matutuwa ka sa kanya. Tama? So, thank you very much, everyone. That's for my part. Back to you, Coach Camille. Yes, ayan. So, thank you, Coach Josh, for that very informative and practical sharing. ba diba? So, natuto ba ang lahat? Alam nyo na, no? Palitan nyo na yung alarm clock sa katabi nyo. Yuzana na dapat, di ba? Sells and shells battle. Yan, yan. Para pagising mo, yun agad yung makikita mo, right? So, why don't we send our thank you, no? In our chat box for Coach Josh. So, very amazing sharing. And, of course, di ba? We don't end the night with this one kasi this is just the start. So, right now, this is the most awaited part of our training. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you our very special guest speaker for tonight. And also, to add to your excitement, please prepare your question because our speaker will answer three questions after his talk. So, for our third Monday Hustle of 2022, we bring to you our third Diamond Speaker, Next Gen's favorite, the was, and you'll find out why, the was, our executive two-star Diamond Director and Million Dollar Club member. So learn from his more than a decade of successful MLM experience on how to create and sustain your team's momentum and build a solid business. So our speaker for tonight is a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing from USP. He is one of our Yuzana Philippines top leaders, a consistent Philippine top income earner, executive Diamond Direct Diamond Summit qualifier, a multiple travel incentive qualifier, and independent distributor council member. So colleagues and friends, Please join me in welcoming our executive two-star Diamond Director, Diamond Director Mentor, Ryan Tan. Good evening, Mentor. Hi, good evening, Camille. Good evening to everybody who are part of this uh, Zoom meeting tonight. So first and foremost, no, although it's already January 24, um, let me greet everybody a happy, happy new year ngayong 2022. So this year is quite different no, versus the way we started 2021. Kasi 2021, I remember parang lahat came from Hatawan nung 2020. Parang lahat, parang nung 2020, all out. So pagdating ng 2021, parang pagod. So ngayon namang 2022, no, parang it started differently in the sense that parang last year, hindi siya ganun ka-intense. In this year, everybody's trying to pick up momentum. So admittedly, no, that includes me and my business partner, si Mentor Raj. Pero this year for me, I'm more optimistic in 2022 versus 2021 because I can sense everybody talaga parang dahan-dahan, they're gearing up and ready talaga humataw sa business. But before we go to that, no, for the people who don't know me yet, I'd like to introduce myself lang very, very quickly. Uh, my name is Mentor Ryan Tan. I've been in USANA for 13 years already. And just like you, when I joined USANA, um, hindi ko maintindihan bakit ba ako sumali dito. Kasi sabi ko, ano ba to? Parang I'm not, I'm not really inclined to do sales. I'm not inclined to do business. Pero sabi ko, right after college, ang una kong pinasok, sabi ko, networking. Sabi ko, tama bang nandito ako? So the only reason, guys, no, that I entertained you, Sana, was because I was part of the generation na parang halos buong Pilipinas nag-nursing. So even doctors joining my time, they were taking up nursing. Because right after graduating from college, no, basta pumasa ka lang ng NPLEX, automatically parang halos you a citizen ka na. 
Kaya lang yung problem ko when I graduated from UST, um, nag-recession bigla yung US and they decided not to hire foreign nurses anymore. So sabi ko, kung hindi naman ako mag-US, in nung time ko hindi naman uso yung Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Singapore, Ireland. So sabi ko, ayoko ko naman mag-Saudi. Yung promise sa akin was either pupunta daw ako ng New York or California. Tapos sabi ko, ba't ganun? Ba't Saudi yung lalandingan ko? So sabi ko, I'm not willing to go to Saudi and definitely I'm not willing to work for like 5,000, 6,000 pesos a month because that was the going rate for nurses during my time. So in short, after graduating from UST, wala naman akong ginawa kaagad. So one day, no, I was invited to do USANA. And just like most of you, um, ako, I immediately said no. Sabi ko, ayokong mag-join sa ganito. Kaya lang, for some reason, parang may magic yung mga tao pag kinakausap ka nila about USANA. Although it was really against my will, sabi ko, ayokong mag-join ng USANA. The following day, I signed up, I got my products, and sobrang laki ng sisi ko. And for like over two years, no, doing USANA as a business, it was short, a little bit short of like a living hell for me and my business partner, si Mentor Raj. And why do I say it was almost like a living hell? Uh, we joined USANA back in January 2009. And what I'm showing you on the screen right now, no, this was the income namin ni Mentor Raj. It was already September 2010, what I'm showing you right now. So close to two years of doing USANA, personally, I only ended up making mga 20 to 30,000 a month. And sabi ko, grabe, um, straight out of UST, no, I did USANA. Tapos I've been doing this for almost close to two years, only for me to end up making as little as 20 to 30. And when I started making that amount, doon akong awang-awa sa sarili ko. Kasi I remember when I was still going to college, yung baon ko every month was 6,000. And yung 6,000 cash allowance, that was different pa from yung baon ko talaga na food, no? And when I was in college, sabi ko, yung 6,000 a month, parang nakakapag-Starbucks pa ako, nakakapag-Kenny Rogers pa ako. And I really had this notion, if I start making my own money, sabi ko, pag 15,000 siguro, no? 20,000 a month, sabi ko, ang yaman-yaman ko na siguro nun. Kasi 6,000 a month, hindi ko siya maubos. Pero you know what, guys, no? When I started making like 20,000 a month, doon ako napakamot. Sabi ko, Parang 20,000 a month, siguro kung ang goal mo lang naman is magkape or kumain. I mean, that's more than enough, of course. Pero sabi ko, 20,000 a month, no? If your goal is to save enough money, alam mo yun, save millions of pesos, talagang bibili ka ng bahay, you're gonna put up mga kung ano-anong investment, sabi ko, talagang walang aabutin yung 20,000 a month. And sabi ko, grabe, I've, own, I've been doing you sana for close to two years this time. And sabi ko, ba't parang wala naman akong narating? Kaya lang, you know what guys, no? Admittedly, I'm somebody, I'm not good in sales, I'm not good in business. Pero to cut the long story short, anyway, to amaze everybody, no? After like 12 long years of doing it, um, last year, we really had our record year. We were able to reach like $8,000 a week. And sabi ko, in looking back, no? Sabi ko, I'm one person na hindi ko akalain. Sabi ko, when we were being told to hit PPPS, sabi ko, parang hindi ko naman kayang mag-PPPS. When we were being told na, uy, Ryan Raj, mag na kayo ng director, parang feeling naman namin hindi namin kaya mag-director, feeling namin hindi namin kaya mag-gold. And I remember si Epsnat, gold na kami, kinukulit niya kami mag -Ruby. Sabi ko, ang kulit-kulit naman to ni Epsnat, parang hindi pa nga kami ready mag -Ruby. Pero alam mo yun, parang feeling namin hindi kami ready. Pero you know what guys, no? if you just keep pursuing the business and you keep growing, talaga na mga abot at aabot ka doon. Pero here's the paradox, no? as we were ending 2022, although last year it was really our record year ni Mentor Raj in Yusana, as we were ending the year and as we were about to begin 2022, ito, bigyan ko na kayo ng backstory. Um, a lot of people, parang they were wondering, ano bang itsura sa Yusana ng 2022? Online pa ba to? Hybrid na ba to? Or is it gonna be face-to-face? May pandemic pa ba ng 2022? And though there were so many uncertainties no, when we were starting the year, and apart from those uncertainties, kami ni Mentor Raj, we've been doing Yusana na rin, just like Mentor Nat, we've been in the business for mag 13 years na. And although we're supposed to be excited, we're supposed to go for all the goals, when we were when we were about to start the year, nag-uusap kami ni Mentor Raj, sabi ko, Raj, excited ka ba sa Yusana? Sabi niya, ewan ko. Sabi niya, bakit ikaw? Sabi ko, hindi ko rin alam. And nung nag-uusap kami, no, sabi namin, parang, alam mo yung patapos pa lang yung year and you're about to start a new one and you're supposed to hit new goals again. Eh, hindi mo nga na-hit lahat ng goals mo last year. 
So parang hindi namin alam. Of course, syempre, as leaders of our team, we're supposed to push, we're supposed to lead by example. So sabi namin, ba't ganun? Parang we made so much money last year, more than what we expected. Pero ba't parang hindi tayo excited? And a lot of people, na sabi ko, grabe, may pera na tayo niya na in we're still not so motivated. Sabi ko, paano pa yung ordinary yung sana distributor? And if you're somebody, no, na you're starting the year 2022 na, yeah, yeah, on one hand, you're partially excited, but on the other hand, alam mo yung medyo pigil and you really don't know what to expect. Kami, we started the year on the same note and we're on the same page, guys. And that's why, pagpasok na pagpasok ng new year, no, and kami naman ni Mentor Raj, Uh, meron na kaming mga alam na namin what to do every time feeling namin na magsuslow down kami feeling namin parang nasa kami sa business what, what we decided to do sabi namin invite kaya natin po si mentor nat sabi natin mag lunch tayo anyway matagal na tayong hindi nagpapagul set sa kanya matagal na tayong hindi nagpapamentor and we started the year no we had lunch with ups nat and we really did not tell ups nat ano yung pakay namin bakit namin sa in-invite but basically we were looking for motivation and si ups nat naman we were just Um, nagkakwentuhan lang kami and yung turning point ng lunch na yan no, sabi ni Upsnat he's so excited daw to start this year because nagbabubble chart daw sila ni Ate Joan parang nagdrawing-drawing sila ng mga business centers nila and nagcompute sila sabi nila rather than start other businesses no, sabi niya Um, magpa-max out lang daw sila ng two additional business centers this year. They're gonna make additional 800,000, 1 million per month. ba? Diba? And hindi pa projected doon yung leadership bonus. And sabi ko, grabe no, parang 800,000 to 1 million per month. I'm sure with what they're making now, it's more than enough already. Tapos alam mo yung you're already making more than enough, tapos you have additional 800 to 1 million per month. Sabi ko, parang wow. So anyway, nung lunch na yan, picture-picture, nagbabay kami kay Appsnat. So kami ni Raj, din bubble chart din kami. No? Parang, oh nga, what will happen? Mag-compute nga tayo. What will happen kung kaming dalawa, no, mag-box out kami ng additional two business centers? E nung pag-compute namin, we were so shocked din. Sabi ko, oh nga, no? parang two business centers lang yung max out namin. But with the leadership bonus and with the elite bonus, parang, oh nga, we're gonna make 800 to 1 million more per month. E sabi namin, currently, ako personally, no, parang wala naman akong pinagagastusan. Parang I bought siguro properties, nag-invest. Pero sabi ko, basically right now, mababa naman ang cost of living ko. I'm just paying for mga kung ano. I'm paying for an Italian coach. I'm paying for a tennis coach. Right now, I have a swimming coach. Nagahanap ako ng bowling coach. Alam mo yung wala na akong magawa. So sabi ko, what will I do, di ba, with additional money? But anyway, di ba, sabi ko, medyo, I mean, yeah, medyo nakakapagod humataw sa'yo sana. Pero sabi ko, um, it's, the same, it's the same story outside. Sabi ko, kung empleyado ka, Diba? Nakaka-burnout na burnout ka ng 2021. If you're an employee, wala ka namang choice. You need to report to work ng 2022. And whether you're in the mood or not, diba? whether or not bigyan ka ng salary increase, you need to show up and perform. So kami, biglang all of a sudden, nag-switch yung mindset namin. Parang yan, nakakapagod. Parang it's like 13 years of hataw already. Pero sabi ko, grabe, if hatawin mo naman siya, you get paid like what? Extra 800,000? 1 million per month so we're gonna get we're gonna be like 400 to 500,000 pesos richer each diba so sabi ko yeah it's it's really an exciting business to be part of and tonight no for all the new people lalo na kung bago ka sa Yusana and medyo naguguluhan ka sa mga terms medyo naguguluhan ka sa mga goals dito or if you're a leader naman na you've been in Yusana for quite some time already and you're frustrated ka because you've not been getting your goals As you start the year, guys, no, whether you're new or you're old, for me, I really believe in this. Um, clarity is power. Kasi for me, it's very hard to work on something kung hindi clear, saan ka papunta, kung hindi clear, ano yung gagawin mo. So that's why as you start the year, although you were told to set goals, you were told to set targets, guys, no, January is almost over. And tonight, I really hope no, to make things clear for everybody. Clear in what aspect? First, I want um, all the mechanics, yung mga travel incentives, mga recognition. I'm sure ilang beses na itong kinaskid sa inyo, but I want to simplify things for everyone para ikaw mismo, alam mo yung hindi ka na nai-intimidate sa mga terms, hindi ka na nai-intimidate, parang feeling mo ang hirap-hirap ng leadership summit when in fact it's so easy. ba? Diba? So secondly, once clear na sa'yo ano yung me- mga mechanics, Secondly, what I want to do tonight is to give a clear track, no? Para ba talaga mag-build ng network? A lot of people, when they're told na to sponsor, to grow your team, 
feeling nila it's so taxing, feeling nila hindi nila kaya. And ako, I can relate because I always felt na hindi ko naman talaga kayang mag-network, hindi nga ako marunong mag-present, hindi nga ako magaling mag-invite. But you know what, guys, no? right now, um, every time we look at our organization, we have like 30,000 active ID numbers under our organization right now. And that's coming from distributors na akala nila hindi marunong mag Akala namin hindi namin kayang mag PPPS. So anyway, first things first, no? This 2022, ano bang meron sa iyo sana? And what, you, what should you be aiming for? So of course, very basic. This year, you want to improve on your weekly commissions, your weekly income. So last year, no? Um, ako naman naniniwala kung 2021 na frustrate ka, 2021 you were so disappointed, alam mo yung nag-declare ka you were gonna hit gold and hindi mo naman siya na-hit, so what? ba diba, this is a new year, ba diba, you have a new chance, you're given like another 52 weeks, pwede kang mag-rank advance this year. So here's the challenge, no? if you're somebody na ang highest income mo sa'yo sana ever is like $200, Diba? So this year, set your eyes on your targets. Ano bang goal mo on your first three months, on your first six months? Is it to hit director? Is it to hit silver? Is it to go for gold director? Diba? You should have a clear target. And ako for beginners, no, in my team, especially if you're somebody naman na talagang you're in this business to make money, diba? of course you can stay happy and contented with $200 per week, $400 per week. But you know what, guys? no? Um, believe it or not, whether may group ka or wala, executive gold director, itong $1,000 per week, $13,000 in one quarter, that's really within reach. Kaya kaya mo siyang abutin. And if you're a part-timer, um, a lot of people, no, in case you don't know yet, a lot of part-timers in USANA, they were able to hit like $200,000 a month. There were, there were people din, no, yung mga kasabayan namin na leaders, They were already making like half a million a month sa iyo sana. They were still doing this part-time. So right now, even if you're a newbie, even if you're a beginner, definitely you can get these rank advancements this year. And if you want to hit, di ba, beyond gold director, gusto mong mag-ruby, mag-emerald, mag-diamond, I mean, it's all open for you. Di ba, tatrabahuin mo lang talaga sa this year. And... For me, no, that's really exciting for new ones. Kasi kung titingnan mo, di ba, in employment, given six months' time, what what promotion can you vie for in six months? Di ba, if you're somebody in employment, you're averaging like what, 20, 30,000 a month? Siguro mag-MBA ka, di ba, pumasok ka seven days a week, 24-7? Siguro after six months, increase ka ng 5,000, increase ka ng 10,000. But you know what, guys, no, in your sign, sabihin na lang natin in 2021, you did not achieve so much. This year, you're starting the year ng wala kang group halos. In six months' time, guys, no? Yung first month mo, you're zero, you're nothing. But in six months, you could already be gold director. And that's actually the potential of the business. Talagang tatarabahuin mo lang siya. Secondly naman, no? Ito, I'll share lang a tip to everybody. Um, a lot of people, they set goals, but 99% of the time, they don't hit it. Lalo na when they set big goals. So, kami, what we try to do no, sa mga leaders namin and for cross lines na nagtatanong, ano bang ginagawa niyo mentor? So, one thing that we try to do is to really maximize all the conventions. So, what do I mean? So, a lot of distributors, alam mo yung conventions come and go, parang, ay, may convention pala. Ay, convention na pala ulit. Yung iba, ay, ano yon Anong meron doon? So, a lot of people, nasayang nila yung opportunity. So, ito, I'll explain all the conventions that USANA has no year after year after year. So, in case you're new to USANA, every year there are three USANA Philippine conventions. So, something uh, that happens trimesterally. So, the first one happens every February. Kaya lang ito, this was postponed because of the Omicron. So, tentatively, I think this is moved back to April. So it's actually an upside for everybody because if you're not an awardee yet, di ba, you still have enough time to go for director. So kung hindi ka pa nagdirector, pwede kang magdirector ng um, last weeks ng January or up to February. Di ba? So meron din convention in June, meron din convention in October. So ano yung upside, no? if you know, ano yung mga deadline ng mga to? Dito guys, dito mo pwedeng i-pace yung sarili mo. If you're somebody, you're only averaging like $100 a week. 
pagdating ng October, ang target mo is like $1,000 per week. So you need to backtrack. If your goal is to hit $1,000 per week ng October, it means to say, no, that dapat by June, you're already averaging like what? $400, $600 a week. If you want to be averaging $400 to $600 a week by June, dapat pagdating ngayon, no, January, February pa lang, nakoconsistent mo na yung $100, $200 a week. Hindi pwedeng you want to hit goal director by June and right now you're hitting zero, 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 zero. So yung $100, $200 na week, it builds the discipline, no? it builds kumbaga sa ano, muscle, it builds the muscle to um, achieve yung higher income level in you sana. So that was the training na binigay sa amin ni Mentor Nat before. Diba? Of course, everyone, every one of us wants to hit like 1 million pesos a month, half a million pesos a month. But before you go to that level, di ba, i-consistent mo muna yung $100, $200 per week. Di ba? And if you want to check, di ba, kung tama pa ba yung milestone mo, tama pa ba yung pacing mo, you have to make sure each convention ng USANA, you're rank advancing. So, yan yung Philippine convention. And this year, we are even more excited. Kasi for the past two years, all the conventions of USANA talagang virtual-virtual lang. So, noong una, it was exciting. Pero sa amin... Iba talaga no, yung MUWA Arena level, yung tipong when you achieve something, hindi kayong papalakpakan lang sa opisina, bibigyan ka ng certificate and Toblerone. Di ba? Mga certificate of appreciation. Guys, when you sign a recognizes no, people, talagang sobrang grand niya. And talag- it's, it really feels good no, to be recognized in front of like 10,000 people. So yung April daw, it's gonna be live na. So if you want to experience a USANA convention no, live, So sabi nila, they're not sure yet, pero whatever happens, baka gawin lang nilang awardees only. So if you want to be part of this, you have to make sure that you're already at least director pagdating ng April. So that should be your goal right now. So apart from that, there's also a convention. Ito yung Asia Pacific Convention naman. So meaning to say, lahat ng, con- lahat ng conventions, no? Um, sorry, lahat ng countries involving the Asia-Pacific market, Australia, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, New Zealand, they gather every year um, in Suntec sa Singapore. So, it's so, so exciting kasi, um, of course, alam mo yung para kayo nag-field trip ng team mo. And apart from that, um, you get to mingle with mga diamond directors from Australia, diamond directors from, alam mo yung makikita mo talaga yung sana is, really a global business. This is not a cheap business sa tabi-tabi lang. Talagang makikita mo, it's really an international business. And a lot of professionals, not only Pinoy's, no, but professionals also from other countries, talagang they really resign from their jobs, they give up their other businesses. Kasi nakikita talaga nila yung potential and convenience of USANA versus um, a building a corporate career or running a traditional business. Sobrang layo talaga. And this year, no, it's even more exciting because I think yung paparating na Asia Pacific Convention, they got the best of the best speakers from all countries. So just imagine in our weekly trainings, di ba usually we hear lang naman mga diamond directors from the Philippines. But sa, April, sa March, this is a very exciting event to look forward to because you're going to be learning from diamonds ng Singapore, diamonds ng Australia, diamonds from all over the Asia Pacific market. So, Uh, ilagay nyo ito sa calendar nyo and don't dare miss it kasi it's really a powerful event. So apart from that, so ito, we're really hoping and praying na matuloy, matuloy na talaga to because, well, two years na tayong nabubulok sa Philippines. Di ba? Ang tagal-tagal nang walang travel. So kami gustong-gusto na namin talaga mag-travel. And this year, sabi namin sana by August naman tuloy na tong live convention ng USANA in Salt Lake. And I think it's gonna be so special Because in case you don't know, no, this year is actually the 30th year of USANA. So kapag may nagsabi sa'yo yung fly-by-night si USANA, how could it be fly-by-night? Grabe namang fly-by-night yan, 30 years na, hindi pa rin nagsasara. ba? Diba? So 30th year convention ng USANA this year. And kami were just so excited to go back. And alam namin every five years talaga, USANA really prepares big surprises. So, nung 20th year ng USANA, no, sad to say we were not part of it. Hindi kami pumunta that time. Pero I remember yung kwento. Nung last day daw ng convention in Salt Lake, the son of Dr. Went said, told the whole crowd, no, everybody in attendance, sabi niya, guys, since, since this is the last day of the convention, everybody in attendance, come on guys, look under your seats. 
And pagtingin daw ng mga tao under their seats, no, nagulat silang lahat. Everybody, parang I think 10,000 of them got an iPad. So just imagine, no, na namigay na siya sana ng iPad for all the people in attendance that year. So on the 25th year naman, akala nila may palok under their seats, pero wala. Pero sabi ni Kevin Guest, no, the CEO, um, everybody... At who attended the 25th anniversary of Yusana gets an additional business center, totally free. So just imagine, no, meron, kang, meron kang business center that could earn you an additional $1,000. So we're so excited no, what Yusana is preparing for the 30th convention. So we can only guess, pero um, hopefully live na to. And what's the upside no, when you go to the home office live? So number one, Um, lalo na if you're a director right now, you're silver, you're gold, and you've never been to Salt Lake. So something that you should look forward to is to actually see the home office in person. So iba kasi, di ba, na alam mo yung parang you present to guests, pinaparot mo yung sinasabi ng upline mo, but you don't know for certain. Totoo ba itong mga pinagsasabi namin? Di ba? Totoo bang may office yung sana sa States? Di ba? Pero pag nakita mo yung sana office in Salt Lake, parang wow, grabe, totoo pala lahat ng pinagsasabi ko. Diba? Totoo pala, diba, na yung mga research scientists ng USANA, they have PhD degrees. So, apart from that, no, you'd get to meet nga, like I've like what I've said, no, yung mga leaders from other countries. So, on the right side, sila yung top one income earners ng USANA Korea. So, I can only imagine, siguro they make a million pesos a week. Diba? I can only guess, a million, two million pesos a week, plus yung elite bonus. So, you can only compute, guys, ano yung potential talaga ng business. So apart from them no ito you'd meet also distributors from Spain from Europe diba from kung saan-saan So apart from that of course there's that class picture with Dr. Wen so you'd get to see him in person guys when you go to Salt Lake So this should be your target talaga this year if ever the convention pushes through So apart from that diba apart from the conventions what else should you be looking forward to So Alam naman natin na merong South Korea, di ba? Which is what we call Team Up, Step Up, Travel Incentive. So, a lot of people, no, lalo na yung mga bago. Alam ko yung psychology ng mga tao. Sinasabi nila, ay mentor, okay naman yan, good for six. Kaya lang, hirap naman yan, ihit. But guess what, guys, no? If you're gonna treat your whole family to Korea, and you're gonna get that through overtime, you're gonna get that through employment, guys, mahirap din yun. Diba? So for me, kung pwede mo na sang kunin for free dito sa Yusana, kunin mo na dito kaysa mag-overtime ka pa, kaysa rumakit ka pa elsewhere just to get a free travel incentive for six. And later, I'll go through no ano yung mga standard mechanics for each. So apart from that, there's also a trip to Maldives. So I think this one, tuloy na tuloy na ito around June or July, nakakalendar na to sa Yusana, pinakita na sa amin. So if you're somebody na gusto mo talagang gumala, diba? tamad ka ng pumasyal sa SM, Tamad ka ng pumasyal sa kung saan-saan. Diba? There's that chance for you to go to Maldives sa June. And apart from that, there's also that um, trip to Monaco. Diba? So anyway, ito. Paano ba mag-qualify for the all-expense-paid trip? So let's discuss Maldives first. So ito, July 2022. So this is what we call the Leadership Summit. And guys, this is so easy. Madali lang ito. For you to qualify here, all you need to do is to earn $7,800 in 13 weeks. $7,800 in 13 weeks. So that's an average of $600 per week. So a lot of people ask me, Mentor, why do you say madali? $600 a week kaya yung sabi mo. E $100 a week kaya mentor, ang hirap. $200 a week kaya mentor, mahirap. I tell you guys no, a secret about this business. So when you're building a network, The initial part, no, yung part na wala ka pang network, yung part na wala ka pang group, of course, common sense, that's difficult. Because basically, you don't have leverage yet. Wala ka pang team. So basically, all the output for you to earn commissions, alam mo yung ikaw yung nag-invite, halos ikaw na yung nag-present, ikaw na yung nag-convince, ikaw na yung follow up ikaw yung nag-attend sa training, kasi hindi pa gumalaw. Di ba? Tapos mong push ka ulit for the following week. Alam mo yung invite ka ng invite. And practically, parang push ka ng push and nakaka, you're able to sponsor people but you still don't have a solid team. But guess what, guys? No, The moment you're consistent na with $300, $400, $500, $600 per week, the business becomes easier. And why do I say that? It's because somewhat meron ka ng organization. 
So kaya nga kung titingnan mo right now no, there are diamonds in the Philippines. Cut off pa lang. Alam mo yung tipong one minute after cut off, they already have like what? 3,000, 5,000 dollars. Bakit? It's because of auto order. It's because they have so many downlines already throughout the years. So ikaw, that's your that's your end goal, magkaroon ng leverage in the business. So kung sinasabi nga natin right now, 'di ba, challenging ang 50, 100, 200 dollars per week. For me, kung yan yung mahirap na part, dapat bilisan mong graduate diyan para nandun ka na sa level na 400, 600 dollars a week yung pinong problema mo. Hindi yung mahirap na nga, 'di ba, pinatagal mo pa yung part na yan. So right now, Um, it's really a challenge. Pero the moment you start hitting consistent for $100, $500, $600 per week, guys, believe me, ang dami in our team, no, they're like almost 20 people na qualify ng leadership summit in the past two years. And every time we call them, uy, congrats, finally tapos ka na sa LS. O anong feeling? Sabi nila, mentor, kaya pala, no? Parang ang dali lang ng 13 weeks. Nung una, hindi ko akalain na uh, matatapos ko siya. And that's really the point naman about business. Feeling mo sa simula, hindi kaya, hindi kaya. Until you finish it, alam mo yun, parang, ay grabe, tapos na, yun na yun. ba? Diba? So yung leadership summit, it's easy. It's only a matter of $600 per week. And for you to get that, diba, tapos-tapusin mo na yung $100, $200 a week mo. Para you have bigger challenges, you have bigger goals, and you have bigger rewards. So deadline for this, no, for you to qualify for the leadership summit in Maldives, dapat by May 27, 2022, tapos ka na sa $7,800. So, if you have your journal with you, no, so markahan mo yan. So, secondly, yung Team Up Step Up Travel Incentive, diba, that's, that's trip for six. So, all you need to do is to sponsor, 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 sponsor people. So, which is actually a good thing because whether or not may incentive na ganito, you should be sponsoring a lot of people anyway. Diba? So, ito nga, no, this time around, mag- just gagawin mo lang yung trabaho mo, meron ka pang free trip. E nung time namin before, alam mo yun, we kept sponsoring a lot of people. Wala naman kaming pa-travel to Korea. Di ba, wala naman kaming pa-travel to other countries just because we sponsored a lot. So this time around, you sana is really so generous, di ba? If you sponsor a lot of people, you could uh, win a travel for up to six people to South Korea in 2023. So, Apart from that, di ba, ito naman, this is for people na hindi masyadong nag-grow last year. And this is also for people na super bago pa lang sa'yo sana. And I believe, no, itong AP Growth Travel Incentive, this will be in Athens, Greece. So magkakaroon tayo ng take 2 sa Athens, Greece. And why do I say, no, this is for people na hindi masyadong humataw last year? Because um, in the AP Growth Travel Incentive, we're talking about growth in your business. So all you need to do for you to qualify here is for you to grow your business by at least $15,000. So wag kang masyak no, sa mga $15,000. Iyan ka na naman, feeling mo mahirap. But actually, it's so easy. And tingnan mo to, ah, gaano ka lavish siya yung sana pagdating sa AP growth. So 2019, it was in Cape Town, South Africa. Di ba yung 2020, it was in Budapest, Hungary. So 2021, it's supposed to be in Athens, kaya lang na postpone. So if you were not part of Athens noong 2021, you can hit it again in 2022. So how easy is this, no? For you to hit, uh, for you to qualify. So bigyan ka tayong example. If you're somebody, sabihin natin in 2022, ang total income mo lang is $18,500, short of 1 million pesos. Di ba? Feeling mo, uh, sablay feeling mo you're un- you underperformed but guess what guys no if you had a poor showing no 2021 that's actually an upside for you bakit kasi if you were to compute that automatically ang growth mo na ay $16,500 kasi ang baba lang ng baseline mo last year so just imagine no for people what if you made like $200,000 last year for you to qualify here you need to earn at least $215,000 Diba? So if you're somebody na hindi ka nag-perform last year, definitely AP growth is so easy for you this year. Kailangan mo lang talaga siyang i-target and kailangan mo lang siyang i-monitor. And apart from that, no, for all the existing gold directors, sabi namin, bakit ngayon lang namigay sa'yo sana ng ganito? Diba? Just go executive on your rank and grow by at least 5%. Meron ka nang pa-travel to Balisin. Sa, I think this will be in July 2022. And I believe, no, hindi pa lang nila in-announce, pero July to December, if you go executive again and you grow at least 5%, it's not just gonna be in Balisin. There's also another luxury local getaway from Yusana. 
So just imagine, mag-executive ka lang ng first semester, mag-executive ka lang ng second semester, di ba, you get two local trips, malamang pasok ka na sa AP Growth, malamang pasok ka na sa South Korea, di ba, malamang kung hindi ka pa nag, uh, hindi ka pa nag leadership summit, you're gonna hit that also. So if you're gonna compute that, parang you're gonna get like what, five, six free trips kung bibilangin mo pa yung Monaco sa 2023. Di ba, so it's really exciting to perform in USANA this year. As in, sobrang daming pamigay. So, ito naman, yung Monaco, di ba? You just need to grow by at least $30,000 for two years consecutive. So, anyway, ito. Dito naman na stock yung mga tao. They're just excited. Di ba? Wow, mentor, gabi, ang daming travels. Pero then again, ano na nga bang gagawin ko? Then again, mentor, paano na ba talaga mag-build ng network? I still don't get it. So, a lot of people overcomplicate things, no? Pero sa totoo lang, looking back, network marketing is an easy business. It's actually a very simple business. Because for you to grow your team, all you need to do, number one, is to sponsor people. Di ba? Mag-invite ka lang. Invite, 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 invite. A lot of people, they were frustrated. Kasi, mentor, ba't ganun? I invited a lot of people noong November. I invited a lot of people noong December. Um, a lot of my teammates parang nag-lilo, nag-hibernate. I'm starting with almost, di ba, scratch right now, mentor. What do I do? You know what, guys? No, November, December last year, it was so weird. Kasi lahat ng mga tao parang they were so excited mo Christmas party. They were so excited kumawala. So parang, alam mo yung, no matter how well you presented, you sana to them. Parang nagustuhan nila yung products, nagustuhan nila yung business. Pero sa kanila, it was not a good timing to be entertaining you sana because they were so toxic sa work, they were so busy with reunions, and so when you asked them last year, no, ano, game ba sa'yo sana? Alam mo yung it was so common last year na parang nagustuhan ng guest mo but they did not sign up. Pero you know what this year, guys, no, it's so easy to sign up people. Sa totoo lang, bakit? A lot of people na, alam mo yung sinin zone ka last year, a lot of people na pinaasa ka last year, they're realizing that the pandemic is far from over. Grabe, matagal pa pala ito. Hindi pa pala ito tapos. Baka daw magkaroon na naman ng panibagong variant. ba? Diba? Even if you're vaccinated pala, possible pa rin na magkaroon ka ng Omicron. Oh my God, what can I take to boost my immune system? And you know what, guys? No, A lot of people right now, pag inoferan mo sila ng vitamins, all of a sudden, they're receptive ulit. And ako, no, after namin mag-launch ni Mentornet, the following day, I came out, I came out up with the prospect list ulit. Yung mga nasa prospect lists ko, um, they were people na in-invite ko noong 2020, 2021, sin, parang sin zone or hindi naman sila positive nung the first time I explained you sana to them. You know what guys, no? I just tried asking. Sabi ko, uy, I remember nagustuhan mo yung sana last year pero hindi ka nag-push through. Baka gusto mo i-check out siya ulit. And you know what, as simple as that, no? as casual as that, siguro out of 10 people, three people nagpa-reschedule sila sa akin. They checked it out again. And I think out of the three, dalawa nag-sign up. ba? Diba? So because people are willing to take a look at nutritionals again, people are taking are taking a second look at ano bang online business opportunities. ba? Diba? So right now, this is the perfect time to sponsor. And apart from that, no, why is this a good time to sponsor? Tandaan nyo guys, every January, especially for Filipinos, di ba tayong Filipinos, every Every January, mahilig tayo mag New Year's Resolution. This year, this will be my breakthrough. This year, mag-gym ako. This year, I'm gonna be more prosperous. I'm gonna pursue all the opportunities that will come my way. Lahat, guys, ng Pilipino, pagdating ng January, they're masipag. ba diba? Kaya nga, lahat daw ng gym nag-boom ang membership pag January. So, kung titingnan mo, if you offer people a business opportunity ng January, they're more open-minded versus the other months of the year. That's why, di ba, ano ba ngayon? January 24. While it's still January, guys, while it's still the early part of 2022, talk to as many people as you can. And secondly, no, um, if you want to hit these travel incentives, you apart from being able to sponsor, you need to be able to grow your team. And later, I'll discuss that more thoroughly. No? Ano ba nag-grow talaga ng team? But before we go to the second part, ito, I'll give you tips lang, no, on how to recruit people faster and how to recruit people more effectively. So, tandaan you guys, no, in inviting people, in prospecting, basically, you're not trying to close deals. Diba? Hindi mo gustong mag one time. Basically, you're asking people to become business partners with you. 
And if you're having a difficult time na wala kang pay in for the longest time, no, you need to answer this question. Bakit ayaw mag-partner ng people with you? What's wrong with you? Why, what are you doing incorrectly? So the way we teach this no, in our team, it's so simple. If you want to be effective in sponsoring, you need to be consistent with the three C's of sponsoring. So ano tong three C's? Number one, you need to be consistent. You need to be consistent. Lalo na kung hindi ka pa magaling. So when you say consistent, no, um, you need to talk to people, 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 talk to people. So ako, I remember, no, sobrang bano ko sa'yo sana. Talagang I'm really not good in sales. I'm really not, uh, hindi ako magaling magsalita before. I in, in my very first attempt, no, I invited 25 people to a present, to USANA presentations. I had 25 guests. Out of the first 25 guests that I've had, ang nag-sign up sa akin, zero. Zero. And I remember my very first sign up in USANA was my 26th guest. So right now, I'm sure a lot of you, no, nag-invite ka ng five people, lahat, no. And of course, it's frustrating. Of course, alam mo yun, it's disappointing. But you know what, guys? So if you keep talking to people, as in you just talk to people, talk to people, talk to people, eventually you would come across people wanting to be healthy. Eventually you'd come across people talaga na gusto rin talagang mag-business. Diba? Just never ever give up. And secondly, no, especially for, for the new ones, ito, this is something that we would never forget. We got this technique no, from Colette Larsen. So si Colette Larsen, in case you don't know her, she's an executive 10-star diamond director, I think, and she's been with you sana for, I think, almost 30 years na rin. And right now, si Colette Larsen, I think she has more than 100 diamonds under her, her organization. No? And when we went to Salt Lake, nung first time namin siyang mamit, Talagang kinorner namin siya ni Mentor Raj. And sabi namin, uh, Mentor Colette, how did you grow your organization to uh, to that level na you have so many diamonds? Sabi ko, what's the secret? Sabi niya, you have to keep it basic. You have to ensure that everybody in your team observes the 4 by 2 by one technique. So sabi ko, ano yung 4 by 2 by one technique? So sabi niya, this is for the new ones, the part-timers. So if you're a new person here, basically every week, you should be presenting to at least four people. You should have four guests every single week. And sabi niya, out of the four guests, your goal is to convert at least two of them to try the products. And at least out of the four, at least one of them, sign them up sa business. So that should be your metric. Invite four, sell to two, sign up one. So sabi niya, just imagine, no, if everybody in your network does that, just imagine the productivity. And sabi ko, grabe, it sounded so simple, no? it's so basic. Pero sabi ko, effective yung technique niya kasi nag-10-star diamond director siya. Four by two by one technique. So if you're not able to schedule four, so what's the problem? You're not good at inviting. Diba? If you're able to schedule four but you're not able to convince people to try the products, baka kailangan mong mag-attend ng product training. If you're able to invite four, you're able to sell but you're not able to sign up, baka may problem ka sa closing. So right now, no, tingnan mo yung standard mo every week. Kasi you cannot let each week pass by nung wala kang metric. Diba? There should be a goal every single week. So you, you should have one sign up every single week. And guess what, guys? No, This is tried and tested, even in our team. People who are able to do this, people who are able to sign up one to two sponsors per week, on the third month, on the fourth month, usually they're able to start their leadership summit runs. Diba? So right now, if you have an organization, good. Pero mag-sponsor ka pa rin. If you don't have an organization anymore, makalipas yung Christmas, diba? don't, ano, don't make a big deal out of it. Mag-sponsor ka lang talaga ulit. So, yan. If you want to get people to partner with you, the first C is consistency. Secondly naman is confidence. So every time you invite people, no, you have to be confident about what you're showing them. So dito, tandaan mo, every time you invite people, keep in mind that first impressions last. Hindi ka pwedeng awkward. So pag sinabi natin first impressions last, no, a lot of people, they ask me, ikaw mentor, Ryan, what's your best closing technique? So for me, the best closing no, in any presentation is a very good opening. So dapat yung opening mo pa lang, nagpo-close ka na. So always use this technique, no? always be closing technique. 
So for you to appreciate this fully, I'll demonstrate to you no, how usually uh, guys, uh, how people uh, do invitations, presentations, and how they do closings. So a lot of people I work with, no, lalo na yung mga bago, they, they are doing the business this way. Say for example, I have a guest at 9 o'clock in the evening. So pag sign up ng guest, say for example, the name of the guest is Camille. So pag nag-login yung guest sa Zoom, this is what people do. Um, hi Camille. Uh, buti naman naka-login ka na. Uh, hindi, hindi ako yung mag explain uh, Wait lang nga, tatawagin ko yung tatawagin ko yung mentor ko sa yung kakausap sa yo. Um, hi mentor na Uh, mentor, nandito na po yung guest ko, si Camille. Um, Camille, this is my mentor, si Mentor Nat. So then, mag-present na si Mentor Nat sa kanya. So pagtapos ni Mentor Nat, um, thanks po, mentor. Usap na lang po kami ni Camille. Thanks sa time po. Bye-bye. Hi, Camille. Um, nagustuhan mo? Hmm. Pag-isipan mo? Ah, sige. Text mo na lang ako. Uh, bye-bye. Let me know. Bye-bye. Hi, mentor. Um, nagustuhan naman daw po ni Camille. Uh, text na lang daw po niya ako what she decides. Bye po. And they do that, no? Like 10 times, 20 times. And they'd wonder, no? Come the 20th time. Oh my God, grabe. 20 people na in-invite ko. Walang nag-sign up. Di ba? Pero kung pwede mo lang kasing i-tape record yung sarili mo, di ba? I mean, just try to imagine kung ikaw yung guest, hindi naman talaga convincing the way you talk to them and you're wondering, no, how come they don't sign up in the end? So dito, like what I've said, you really need to be confident. Dapat nag-high ka pa lang, naglalag, alam mo yung nag-high, hello ka pa lang, nag-closing ka na. So I'll demo to you, no, how I do it. So meaning to say, kunyari si Camille is my guest, nag-sign up sa right now. So this is what I would say. Uy, wow, Camille, thanks for your time, ma. At least you were able to log in uh, kaagad. Alam mo, Camille, no? Two weeks ago, pa kita kinukulit about this because I'm really excited to show this to you because I remember the last time we had coffee. Na-mention mo, Camille, di ba, naghahanap ka ng online business. And I'm sorry, Camille, ang dami mong questions on Facebook. Hindi talaga kita masagot. Kasi to be honest, um, I just got uh, started in USANA two weeks ago. I'm still under training. Pero alam mo, Camille, this is so awesome kasi... Two weeks pa lang ako dito, pero you know what? I'm being trained already to hit at least $100, $200 a week. And you know what, Camille? You're very lucky tonight kasi I invited the person mentoring me. Alam mo, he's so humble. He's been doing Yusana for 13 years already. His name is Mentor Natsunyo. Alam mo, Camille, parang umaabot na nga siya ng seven figures a month. And ang dami na niyang natulungan na part-timers. Ang dami dito, Camille, part-timers just like you. Umaabot sila ng mga $100, $200 a week. Alam mo, Camille, promise, sobrang magugustuhan mo to. Lalo na it's really just online. And I'm sure, no, lahat ng questions mo on Facebook na hindi ko masagot, masasagot sa lahat tonight. For a while, Camille, I'll just check if my mentor is already available. Hi, mentor Nat. Mentor si Camille, yung classmate ko from high school, is already online. Mentor, can we already start the presentation? Hi, Camille. This is, ano pala, mentor Nat. Mentor, this is Camille, my classmate from high school. Mentor, she's so interested to listen to the presentation. Can we already start? So, di ba, present na si mentor Nat. So, after the presentation, thanks so much, mentor. O, di ba, Camille, sabi ko sa'yo, okay tong business na to eh. Alam mo, ako personally, Camille, I considered mag-open ng mineral water station, mag-open ako ano-anong grocery business. Pero I thought, no, sabi ko, mineral water station, I would end up like earning lang mga 30, 50,000 a month. Tapos I'd cash out like 800,000. Sabi ko, ba't ganun pa? Ito na lang. Alam mo, I started two weeks ago, Camille. On my second week, I already made $40. In this week, no, I'm already targeting $100. In ikaw, di ba, you said, Camille, kanina na yung mom mo, diabetic, you're interested to get products. Basically, just get, what, 10, 15 products, Camille, meron ka ng account. And if ever you get started, Camille, Um, there will be a new distributor's orientation naman for new sign-ups like you know. Kasi ako, Camille, when I joined you sana, yung worry ko talaga, I'm not good in sales, I'm not good in business. But you know what? All the trainings naman, ipoprovide nila sa'yo. Kaya kung ako sa'yo, Camille, no, rather than think of any other business, simulan mo na to. Anyway, the moment you get started, kasama mo naman ako dito. And alam mo, Camille, I forgot to tell you, yung classmates natin nung high school, no, si Clark, si Ian, si Michi, 
I invited them also. And na-mention ko nang you sign up. They're all excited to sign up. Alam mo, if ever you sign up, Camille, maganda nga, you sign up now eh. Para if ever mag-sign up kung sila Clark, sila Michi, I'm gonna place them under you. Ikaw, what do you think? Nagustuhan mo naman eh. Come on, simulan mo na. Diba? So that's how I do it. So every time, it's not like 100% conversion. But you know what, guys? If you do that, I think for every five, you'd be able to convert at least one or two or three. Diba? So dito talagang, you need to be confident. You need to be excited. Diba? So for me, no, if you're not gonna do that, wag ka lang mag-invite. Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to convince him. Tandaan mo, no matter how accomplished yung mentor na papakausap mo, at the end of the day, hindi naman kilala ng guest mo in real life yung mentor mo. Di ba, mali ba niya kung totoo si yung Ryan Tan na yan? Di ba, mali ba niya kung totoo si Natsunyo? Mali ba niya kung totoo si Dr. Wentz? Di ba, at the end of the day, the, the trust of the guest na sa'yo, wala naman sa mentors mo. Di ba? So it's how confident you are when you show your plan to them. And a lot of people, no, they may, may iba nagtanong sa akin, Mentor, when I do that, parang I'm not comfortable. Sabi ko, bakit? I mentor kasi parang budol-budol yung style mo. Alam mo yung parang, you know, parang alam mo yung parang ina-excite mo, tapos pinapasign na mo sila. Sabi ko, what do you mean? Sabi niya, eh kasi, ano eh, parang, parang ano mo yun, parang ini- dinadaan daw sa emotions. So sabi ko, yeah, you can look at it negatively, you can look at it that way. Pero sabi ko, come to think of it, ha, what if I'm not part of you sana? What if my business is construction? And I do your style, no? Yung style mong non-pushy ko, no? And lalapit ako sa'yo. I come to you. Uy, um, meron akong business, uh, construction. Um, gusto mo ba mag-invest? Mga 5 million? Hmm. Pag-isipan mo. Sige, bye-bye. Let me know. Di ba, even in construction naman, it doesn't work. Di ba, when you propose to somebody, Diba? Why the hell should I trust you? Diba? So dito, you really need to be excited. And come to think about it, guys, no? Even businesses like Jollibee, 39ers lang naman yung binibenta nila. Diba? Chicken Joy lang naman yan. But the people there are trained. Diba? Papasok ka pa lang. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. May we take your orders, please? Welcome to Jollibee. Diba? They're, they're trained to be upbeat. They're trained to be enthusiastic. So ikaw, you cannot be fronting no na you're promoting health pero para kang may COVID, para kang may cancer. 'Di ba napaka low energy mo? So you cannot be promoting business tas para kang nalugi and you're wondering in the end how come people are not signing up. So dito, you really need to be confident. And lastly, no, the last C. Um the last C for tonight is for you to have clarity. So, Tito, you need to explain, no? You need to make clear to the guest. Kasi yung guest, the moment they ask questions, it means partly nagustuhan naman nila, but it's still vague, no? What if I join? What will happen? So, ano yan? Kukuha ako ng products? How many products? Diba? So, if I sign up, how often do I attend trainings? If I sign up, how? what's the soonest uh, time, diba, that I could recoup my investment? How do I get my money back? So dito, you need to speak up no, and really show your plan to the guest. And you know what, guys? If you show your plan and nakita talaga nila it's a really good plan, hindi naman sila magno-know talaga sa'yo. Diba? And basically, in closing, you should be able to answer these two questions. Diba? Why should they trust you? And secondly, if ever they join, ano ba yung support? Ano ba yung help that they would be getting? Yung worry ko kasi I'm not good at selling. Hindi ko nga naintindihan yung products. I don't worry there's a product training. Well, I'm not good at presentations. Well, in the first place, Ryan, the moment you sign up, kami naman will present for you. Diba? And anyway, later on, there would be trainings naman on how to present. Diba? So you need to show them. You need to make things clear for them. And you know what, guys? If you observe these three C's, you're consistent. You're inviting a lot of people. Um, secondly, you're confident. And you're... Always clarifying no, in the end what will happen ba if they sign up. Ano ba yung upside nito if ever they say yes to the opportunity. Guys, it's so easy to sign people up. Diba? A lot of people, they're looking for opportunities. A lot of people, they're looking for good health products. Don't tell me diba, na wala kang makuhang tao right now. Diba? Baka there's really just something wrong with your method. But otherwise, yung yung sign na talaga, it's, it's really um, an easy business to grow right now. Diba? With the pandemic and all. So, 
Ngayon, dito na tayo sa second part. So, a lot of people, they're able to sponsor naman talaga. But ganun, mentor, last year, I, I was able to sign up like 10 people. Right now, isa na lang. Di ba? Mentor, last week, I'm able to sign up five. Pero out of five, parang wala naman active. So, let's talk about, no, after signing up, how do you grow your team? So, first thing, no, that has to be clear in your mind. Network marketing, it's not just a business na recruit, recruit, tao-tao lang. Di ba? How I wish, no, how we wish na mag-recruit ka lang ng 100 people, billionaire ka na dito or millionaire ka, it's actually more a bit more complicated than that, no? Because the people you sponsor, the people you recruit, um, you need to develop them. You need to make them active. You need to make sure they understand the business. They appreciate the business. They're engaged in the business. So dito, di ba, it's very fitting itong quote na to. Di ba, we come across this often. Sabi ni Zig Ziglar, you don't build a business, you build people. And once you're able to build people, the people you built will build your business for you. So that's actually the beautiful concept di ba, in network marketing. So you don't just recruit people, gagamitin mo sila in goodbye. So the moment you recruit them, if you really want to succeed here, kailangan mo talaga silang turuan. And a lot of people, they're intimidated by this. E paano yan, mentor? Hindi nga ako marunong mag-present, hindi ako marunong mag-train. Um, actually, all my whole life, no, I've never been in a leadership position. Well, um, don't panic, guys, because here naman, you have to just take things step by step. So, meron naman mag-mentor sa'yo dito, meron naman mag-coach sa'yo dito. So, what's the first step no, in growing your team? Number one, you need to develop yourself. You need to develop your leadership. And how do you do that? Diba? So, dito, you need to connect with your mentor. If you're new, Diba, I understand, nag-sign up ka sa'yo, sana all of a sudden, marami nang makulit sa buhay mo. Diba, kung sino-sino nang nag-message sa'yo about your PPPS deadline, about your auto-order, about hitting goals, about kung ano-ano mga trainings. But you know what, guys, no? you can look at it that way, na parang it's so irritating, ang daming nangungulit. But on the other hand, it's actually a cool thing kung tutuusin mo because you started a business and there are so many people, diba, wanting to help you and guide you get established here. Ngayon naman, if you're somebody, di ba, you've been in USANA for over a year, over two years, um, you feel directionless, you feel you can, di ba, perform better, pero feeling mo, um, you're underperforming, di ba, you need to reconnect with your mentor. Don't wait for your mentor to, alam mo yun, kailan ba ako papansin ni mentor? Kailan ba ako babalikan ni mentor? Parang kinalimutan na yata ako ni mentor. Di ba, a lot of leaders are like that and I really don't understand. If you need help, di ba, if, if you need guidance, if you need, di ba, Nandiyan na naman yung mentor mo. Di ba may text, may Facebook Messenger, may Viber. Di ba there are so many ways naman to communicate. So message mo lang yung mentor mo, magpag set ka. And kami, that's what we've been doing throughout the years. Now. We are very grateful to mentor nat. As in from PPPS days to Gold Director Ran, Ruby Ran, Emerald Ran. In this year, no, uh, gusto namin magpapush. Eh. Kaya lang wala naman kaming upline that we're working with closely. So we still go back to our upline. So right now, if you're not finding that momentum yet, di ba, baka kailangan mo lang ng mentoring session, coach, coaching session. And actually, marami naman dyan sa tabi-tabi. You just need to be humble enough and reach out to them. And secondly, no, um, after uh, connecting or reconnecting with your mentor, here in USANA this year, especially if you want to hit goals, you need to master all the things that you need to master. So if you don't know how to invite, start inviting. If you don't know how to close, start closing. If you don't know how to present, start presenting. Because a lot of people, sinasabi, they hold themselves back. Eh. Mentor, I don't want to present yet because I'm not good at presenting. Eh, how will you ever be good at presentations kung hindi mo sinisimulan? Sabi nga nila, before you're able to give excellent presentations, you need to be able to give muna mga good presentations. Before you're able to give good presentations, you'd have to give siguro mga so-so presentations. Alam mo yung medyo sablay. And before you give so-so presentations, you have to give terrible presentations muna. Diba? You start terrible, but you end up excellent. So dito, the faster you start, the faster you do it. Diba? And as you do it repeatedly, gumagaling ka ng gumagaling. Hindi naman pwedeng 2021, hindi ka marunong mag-present. Diba? Grabe naman, 2022, hindi ka pa rin marunong mag-present. Diba 2021, mahihain ka? Pati ba naman pagdating ng 2022, mahihain ka pa rin? So, these things, no, um, itong mga inhibitions, yung mga, yung mga konting pag-hold back natin sa sarili, 
come to think of it, no, minsan yung konting hold back na yan, yan lang pala yung susi. No? Overcome mo lang yung shyness. Overcome mo lang yung mga whatever holding back, holding back yourself dyan. ba diba yan lang pala yung gap between you and goal director? Sa totoo lang. So, try to master that ASAP. And secondly, a lot of people, they feel na parang sobrang hirap mag-build ng network. Guess what, guys? Especially if you're new. Especially if you're part of a team like NextGen. Because all programs are in place already. Ang gagawin mo na lang mag-promote. Ang gagawin mo na lang magpa-attend. So, dito, basically, no, if you have a team and ang problem mo, mentor, I'm not good at trainings. I'm not good at um, equipping my downline. So, what? Diba yung next gen, they have so many trainings. Diba ang dami-dami yung events. Even yung programs ng next gen, they're being copied by other teams. Even yung team namin. So dito, no, a lot of people feeling nila, well, mentor, um, I'm trying to make my downlines attend, but they never do. Diba parang wala silang yaya, they have, they're so preoccupied, hindi talaga nila matutukon ng oras. And for me, no, to make people attend, it's as basic as this. So I don't believe that people are busier now yung mga sign-ups, di, ang hirap na magpa-active. That's not true. You're just doing things wrong. ba? Diba? So, how do you make people attend training? So, it goes back to just being excited. So, what happens ba in the field, no? The, the, the thing that I've observed sa mga uplines right now. So, the way they do it, it's like this. Kunyari, merong nag-sign up. Again, no? Sabihin natin si Camille and Jeremy. Um... Kung ako yung upline, this is what this is what happens no in practice right now. Hi Camille, hi Jeremy. Um welcome ah. Ito pala yung ID numbers niyo. Welcome to the team and add ko rin kayo sa Facebook page so you'd be up to date sa mga trainings natin. Bye guys. Tas I'd go to my upline. Hi mentor net, I have two sponsors. Uh wait, good job Ryan na naka-attend na ba sila ng NDO? Na basic training na ba sila? Ay, hindi pa mentor. Sige po, uh, I'll ask them to attend. Tapos ngayon, I'll message them on Facebook. Hi Camille, hi Jeremy, there's an NBO tonight, 8 o'clock. Um, you need to attend that kasi bago kayo para maintindihan nyo yung business. I'll send you the Zoom link. So when I do it that way, no, lalo na sa Facebook chat, kung ako yung bago, what's the, ano yung psyche? Parang, oh my God. I wasn't sure nga kung gusto kong mag-join. May Zoom training pa pala to. Gano'n katagal ba yan? Di ba? What's in it for me? Di ba? Parang busy ako. Next time na lang. Sabihin mo na lang ako pag may next schedule. Huwag mo na akong kulitin. Di ba? So, sorry. Uh, sorry, Ryan. I cannot attend the NDO tonight. Ah, okay. Sige. Next time na lang. I'll update you. Anyway, welcome to you sana again. Ganun lang. So, until such time na, oh, Grabe, four weeks na yung downline ko, hindi pa siya nabibasic training. ba? Diba? Eh, what was wrong in the beginning, no? The, the very wrong thing that happened was you did not promote it correctly. So how do you promote trainings? Number one, you have to be excited. So when you say excited, again, how do you do it? Every time people sign up, it's automatic. Kapag nag-sign up yan ng Thursday, you have to think, ano ba yung team training natin on Friday? Is it a product training? Is it NBO? Is it health and freedom? Di ba dapat top of mind na yan kaagad? Pag nag-sign up yan ng first day, uy, may, um, I'm not too sure about your progress, but let's, let's say there's an NBO tomorrow. Uy, nag-sign up ng first day. Oh, Camille, welcome to you sana. Ito, I, save mo na yung ID number. That's gonna be your ID number lifetime. And add din kita, Camille, sa Facebook page para you're gonna be in the loop din. Mamit mo yung mga other teammates natin and makita mo yung training posters. And you know what, Camille, grabe ya, ang perfect ng timing mo. Ah. Alam mo, every Friday, um, yung next gen, we have a new distributor's orientation. Alam mo, Camille, when I started in Yusana a month ago, yung problem ko, hindi ako marunong magbenta. Hindi ko talaga naintindihan yung presentation. Alam mo, Camille, after I attended the new distributor's orientation, that's how I got no yung paano ba mag $100 per week. And you know what, Camille, right now, I'm quite consistent na with $100 weekly. Alam mo, Camille, maganda talaga. Attendan mo na yung NBO tomorrow. Promise, Camille. Um, it's gonna be so worth your time. Para next week, let's go for your first $100. Na. I'll send you the Zoom link, Camille. Diba? It's so, ano, it's uh, so swak, lalo na bago ka. Talagang marami kang mapupulot doon. So, ako, 
I make the person commit na, no? Habang ini-include pa lang sila, habang newly enrolled sila. So it's different, no? Uh, those two things are different. Telling them and exciting them. Diba? Don't merely tell them to attend. Diba? Na parang may memo. So you should really excite them. Well, you know what? There's a product training tomorrow. Alam mo ba, when I started in USANA, I didn't know how to sell my products. Alam mo, after attending the product training, dun ko na-appreciate. Ang ganda pala talaga. And after attending that, I found it easier, no? To share the products sa ibang tao. And right now, I'm like, almost half of my products na benta ko na. Alam mo, maganda attendan mo yung product training tomorrow. Diba? So there's a vast difference between telling people to attend and exciting them to attend. The moment you shift no, your gear from merely telling them to exciting them, guys, ang dali-dali mag-build ng network. Just imagine if all your downlines, diba? 10 pay-ins, lahat nag-attend ng NDO. 10 new pay-ins, lahat umatend ng product training, lahat umatend ng mga system trainings, ng mga skills trainings. Diba? If they, if they just attend all the trainings, ang dali-dali mag-build ng network. Diba? So stop saying, ang hirap, ang hirap, ang hirap. You're just overlooking the basic things. And lastly, you know, if you really want to grow your team, you need to always lead by example. So dito, keep in mind, no, kung ano yung pace mo, that's the pace of your organization pababa. If you've been a builder for six months, malamang sa malamang, there's not too much rank advancement sa ilalim mo right now. So if you're a builder, gusto mo, mentor, I really want to ignite momentum. I really want things to be faster in my business. What do I do? Well, the best way you can do, no, is to rank advance. So if you've been builder for the past six months, dapat talaga ang deadliest deadline mo is April for director. Diba? That should be like one big push. Diba? Director ka by April, come June, diba? rank advance to silver. So you're already silver by June, come October, rank advance to gold. And you know what, guys? So if that's your pace, everybody in your organization thinks achievable pala. Madali pala. Yung upline ko nagawa niya eh. Diba? So if you want to set the pace, if you want to speed things up, the best thing you can do is to rank advance. Diba? Not your upline, but you. Kasi minsan yung upline mo gold na, nagrubi na. It, has, it does not have so much impact sa organization. Kasi ang may inspire sa gold to ruby are the golds. But if you want to inspire, diba, your new, your very new downlines, the person who should be leading by example is you. So kung ikaw naman, diba, you're already consistent with $100 per week, yeah, that's good, diba? Pero wag kang masayahan dyan. Start pushing for $200 a week. If you're somebody, you're consistent with $200 a week already, diba? don't be contented with that. Start pushing for $300, $400 a week. In the moment you have that discipline, the moment you have that habit, everybody in your org, grabe, ang bilis niya apply na. Kayang-kaya niya palang gawin. Sige na nga, gagawin ko din yun. And the moment that's, that becomes the culture in your team, guys, sobrang daling mag sana. Diba? In, in retrospect, no, look at these pictures. So I started, I'm not good in sales, I'm not good in business. Uh, we started, first year convention ng Yusana, wala kaming network. Umaten kami ni Mentor Raj, ito priority side namin, we only had like three downlines. And lahat ng yan nag-quit after convention. But throughout the years, lumaki naman ng lumaki yung team namin. And thankfully, no, because of mentoring. And because of that, ito yung mga travel incentives throughout the year. So, Alam mo yung, if you really perform well, feeling mo hindi mo siya kaya, but guys, we felt the same way. Pero ito, because of you sana, di ba? Ako, I've never done scuba diving before, but the first time I tried scuba diving sa Great Barrier Reef siya in Australia, di ba? In that time, when you go to Keynes, Australia, super shocked kami. Kasi in Keynes, Australia, when you go there, there are only three five-star hotels. So when we went there, all the three five-star hotels were locked down by Yusana. So yung buong, yung Shangri-La, yung Hilton, yung Pullman, if I remember, no? Yung three hotels na yun, pang Yusana lang siya. If you're not Yusana, you're not, you're hindi kita pwede mag-check-in doon. Di ba in that year, parang there were like 1,000, over 1,000 associate ships yata. So parang yun yata yung year na pinakamarami. Because of that also, di ba, ako hindi ko naman target pumunta ng Africa, pero nakapunta na akong Africa. Diba? And it's actually a cool experience to, alam mo yun, to go to different continents throughout the years. And kasama pa yung mga teammates mong nagpa-perform din. Diba? And apart from that, we've been to um, yung cruise sa, ano ba to? China, Japan, Korea. And ito no guys, no, one thing talaga that you would come to love about travel incentives, you'd meet people talaga that would really inspire you trip 
ng industry. So one person na na-meet namin ni Mentor Raj, this is Mentor Gio. Si Mentor Gio, in case you don't know his story, no, security guard sa Singapore, right now he's already an executive four-star diamond director, naka-2 million, 3 million dollars na rin yata sa sayo sana. Diba? So sabi ko, ako college graduate ako, pero diba, mas mabilis yung rank advancement niya, nagawa nga niya. Diba? He's a security guard. So kung ikaw, di ba, whatever feeling mong handicap meron ka, feeling mo lang yun, kayang-kaya mo naman gawin to. Di ba? And apart from that, we've been to Korea, we've been to, saan na ba to? Sa Spain. Di ba? We've been to the Netherlands. I've been to Greece. Di ba? Apart from that, meron ba kang mga kung ano-anong personal trips. So, you know what guys? So you're part of a business talaga. Di ba? Ngayon, hindi mo siya fully ma-appreciate kasi feeling mo hindi mo siya kaya. Pero you just need to Alam mo yun, number one, get engaged. Magpaturo ka sa mentor mo. Get your hands dirty. Really build it. Alam mo yung invite people, talk to people, promote trainings. And throughout the years, no guys, you'd be able to build a network na feeling mo hindi mo kayang gawin. And as we end the training, no, of course, there are so many travel incentives. Diba? There's a very big opportunity in New Sana. In this year, no, as you start the new year, for me, um, this should be everybody's goal. Kasi right now, I mean, for the past years, a lot of people, they wanna project so and so. Di ba, lalo na parang people are so addicted to TikTok. Parang yung mindfulness, yung wakefulness ng mga tao, it's like 50% virtual na. Parang virtual reality na ba ang buhay natin? Di ba? So a lot of people, parang they're so gung-ho about making themselves look good on social media. And there's nothing wrong with that, di ba? Pero at the end of the day, di ba, as years uh, go by, Ang gusto mo is to be able to create a life, diba, that feels good on the inside as much as it looks good on the outside. Diba, hindi naman maganda na feeling ng mga tao, you're okay but you're not. Diba, so dito in Yusana, you have that chance, diba. I mean, in all aspects, it's covered by the business. Yusana is pushing you to be healthy. Diba, Yusana is pushing you to be optimally healthy. Diba, it take mo yung best products. Right now, if you're employed and you want to financially break through, you have that chance in this business. Diba, if you have other businesses and you want to augment your income, diba, you want to make extra 100, 200,000 a month. Guys, ang dami na traditional business people. They ended up making six figures a month. And minsan nga, ayaw na nila yung traditional business nila. Mas gusto na lang nila ang nusana. Diba, and this is actually a very fun business. And ito, no, this is my last slide. In talagang, nung pandemic times, this is really what I appreciated the most about this, uh, about Yusana. So, of course, no, being being on the diamond level, lalo na if you're solid, diba? mentor not level, of course, the money is good. Diba? You make money that you did not expect you'd end up making. Pero sabi ko, more than the money, alam mo yung, I'm, I really get to enjoy every single day of my life. And how I wish no, everybody in Yusana, everybody in the world can have, this, uh, ha, have the same options. Kasi kung titingnan mo, a lot of people, no, right now, lalo na nung nagda-die down yung cases last year, everybody were just thankful na, wow, grabe, finally, tapos na yung pandemic. Wow, di ba, I still got to keep my job. I still have a source of income. Hindi ako nakulelat. Di ba, I still survive. And they already feel contented with that. Pero for me, it's such a tragedy, no, na a lot of people, they're contented with merely surviving. And for me, it's a tragedy na there are a lot of people talented naman. Alam mo yung they deserve more. But they but they allow themselves to achieve so little. Diba? And what's frustrating, no? For me, hindi ko to na-appreciate when I was younger. Pero sabi nila, diba, yung money naman, yung material wealth, it's all passing kasi pwede mo naman yung kitain ulit. Pero yung time, hindi mo na siya mababalik. And sad to say, no? sabi nga nila, time is the most valuable asset but people don't own their own time sa totoo lang. Di ba, imagine mo to, if you're employed right now, di ba, today is Monday, probably right now, nagmamadali ka na, matagal pa ba yung trainer na yan? Kailangan ko nang matulog, maaga pa akong gigising bukas, may trabaho pa ako. Di ba, that's your mindset right now. Bakit? Tingnan mo, nagmamadali kang matulog kasi kailangan mong gumising ng maaga bukas. Di ba, and yun yung masakit. Yun, nasanay ka na lang, pero in reality, alam mo yun, hindi ka pa tapos matulog, gigising ka na. In paggising mo, alam mo yung pagmulat mo ng mata mo, nagmamadali ka to go to work. In pagpasok mo sa work, alam mo you're doing things eh, kasi kailangan gawin because this is what I'm getting paid for. 
And after work, di ba, you're gonna rush home. Siguro manunood ka ng Netflix. Di ba, siguro mag-chill ka. But other than that, wala, natulog ka na ulit. Because the following day, work na. So, imagine mo the tragedy, oh. di ba, you wake up to a day, but you don't own that day. Di ba, you wake up to Monday, but you don't own Monday. You wake up to Tuesday, but you don't own your Tuesday. You wake up to Wednesday, and you don't own your Wednesday either. Di ba, and it's the same for Thursday and Friday. So parang five days out of seven days, you don't own your life. Five, you don't own the five days of your life in a week. ba? Diba? And basically, you don't own like what? Age 21 to 65 of your life. Because you're devoting that to work. And a lot of people, no, yung iba, humirit sa akin. A mentor, you're seeing parang that's too condescending. A lot of people, passion talaga nila yung work nila. Talagang it makes them feel fulfilled. Talagang they get euphoric, kakatrabaho. For me, that's all crap. Sa totoo lang. What do I mean? ba? Diba? Sabihin natin, no? What if, no? Kalabitin ka ni Lord. Uy, Ryan, you only have like seven days to live. After seven days, I'll come back, I'll get you. Knowing that you only have seven days to live, ilang araw kang papasok sa seven days? How many days would you go? Grabe, seven days na lang ako. Um, I'll spend six days. Diba, going to work, reporting to my boss because I only have seven days on earth. Diba, you're not gonna do that. There are more worthwhile things, no, that you're gonna spend your last seven days on. And you know what, guys? Sadly, those things na gagawin mo sana on your last seven days, those things that you really love, you don't get to do. Bakit? Because you're tied to your job. Diba, you're tied to your commitments. So for me, diba, the ultimate thing is for you to actually break from that setup. Diba, for me, you don't do you sana. I mean, yeah, if you wanna buy Rolex, diba, if you wanna buy a sports car, I mean, okay lang naman yan kung yun yung mga trip mo sa buhay. Pero for me, it's very basic. If you're a human being, diba, you should get to do the things that you love. You should get to spend time the way you want to spend your time. Diba? And with the way things are going sa career mo, sa but traditional business mo, are you headed towards that setup? Or are you being more tied down? Diba? And for me, I'm most grateful, no? Every time I look back, sabi ko, I joined you sana, hindi naman talaga ako naghahanap ng business. Nababado yan talaga ako sa networking. Pero you know what, guys? Right now, sabi ko, tomorrow, ang laki ng problema ko. So tonight, Monday, medyo busy kasi ang daming meetings. Pero tomorrow morning, ang problem ko, I'm not sure anong oras ba ako gigising bukas. Diba? Kasi hindi pa nag-reply yung tennis coach ko. Anong oras kami magkitennis sa umaga? In tomorrow, 5 o'clock, I have a swimming class. Diba? 5 to to 7 p.m. In it between, hindi ko alam kasi last day na yata tomorrow ng Matrix. And I'm so frustrated because I'm a big fan of Matrix. Di ba ako nakakanood ng Matrix? So, saan ba yan papalabas? So, I need to be able to watch Matrix tomorrow. Pero, it should be in between tennis in the morning and my swimming class in the evening. Di ba? So, those are my problems tomorrow. And ikaw, I don't know ano mga problema mo bukas. Di ba? Pero sabi ko, at least, di ba? Um, why do I have these problems? So, ba't ganito yung mga problema ko sa buhay? It's because I really built this business like 12, 13 years ago. Diba? It's not easy. But you know what, guys? It's really so rewarding if you build it right. Diba? So this year, diba? you have an option. Mag-quit ka sa'yo sana. You just go back to work. But will that make you happy? Sa totoo lang? Or you're just stressed and you just walk away. You want to walk away from stress. And you know what, guys? This year, no, the ultimate goal that you should have is to own your own time, to be able to do things that you love, and not worry about money anymore. This business can afford you that. Diba? Hakatawin mo na lang talaga. Alright? So anyway, I hope I was able to impart no, a thing or two to everybody. Happy New Year to everyone. Go for those goals. And yun, go for rank advancement very, very soon. So see you all, guys. Yes, thank you so much, Mentor Ryan. Grabe, and Happy New Year as well. So, grabe ba guys, napawaw ba kayo? And alam nyo na ba kung bakit si Mentor Ryan talaga is one of our next gen's favorite speaker? Grabe, no? So, it- informative, exciting, <laughs> and ano, um, very practical tips yung binigay sa atin ni Mentor Ryan. But before natin let go no, si Mentor Ryan for tonight, so we're we're opening the floors for two questions only. Kaya if you have question, make sure 
Ayan, you send it to our group chat. Ayan, right now para matanong pa natin. But, ayan, since very limited na rin yung time that we have, and of course, di ba, um, ayaw naman natin ubusin, di ba? <laughs> or as the mentor Ryan for tonight, for sure, marami pa siyang meeting. So, we will be um, starting with the first question. Ayan, so, question daw, ayan, ah, uh, Mentor Ryan, no? So, sige, hinga ka muna ng onte mentor kasi alam na <laughs> talay-talay kang nagsalita, no? So, but, ayan, um, our question number one is this. So, um, from part-timer siya. So, sabi niya, mentor question po, for part-timers po, what should be the number of presentation and invites per day? Well, sabi ni Colette Larson, no, it's four by two by one. But the people who really perform in our team, they set like two to three presentations a day. Mm -hmm. Of course, at the very least, you should be doing four by two by one every week. But if you really want to hit gold, like in three months or six months time, it would be faster if you can do two to three presentations per day in personal guests. Mo. That was the training sa amin ni Mentor Nat before. So I think the formula hasn't changed. So the more presentations, di ba, kung hindi ka magaling mag-present, hindi ka magaling mag-invite, pero you, alam mo yung sobrang dami mong attempts, gumagaling at gumagaling ka talaga eh. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe in inviting like one person every two weeks, di ba, one guest a week, wala, walang nag-world director sa ganyan. If you really want to hit director, you want to, if you want to rank advance to silver, to gold, kailangan talaga four by two by one, or better yet, di ba, if you can do two to three presentations, two to three guests per day, that's the best. Yes. Ayan. So, I agree, di ba? So, tama naman yun. So, ayan, kanina, di ba, binigyan tayo ni Mentor Ryan ng ano, from, um, Claire, uh, kay, ano, no, kay Coach Colette. Ayan. So, pero, di ba, sabi nga, um, you can, ano, up the standard. Ayan. So, from our very own mentor naman. So, kung kaya mo daw ng two to three, di ba, a day, send then do so. Ayan. So, for our last question naman for tonight. Ayan. So, ang question niya, Mentor Ryan, is, can you give us some techniques on how you invite? Did you direct it to the point or with the script? For me, when it comes to inviting, um, the more casual, the more effective. So the problem with inviting, no, um, especially with newbies, they overthink, they overanalyze, and it makes things so difficult for them. Mm -hmm. so what do I mean? A lot of people, when they're familiar, a long-lost friend, no, um, kunyari, I try to invite you, a lot of people, they would think of it this way. Um, kunyari, mag ako, Hi, Camille, how are you? How's your work? Ano, married ka na ba? How are you right now? Kumusta ka ngayong pandemic? Ngayon, they try to do small talk. And a lot of people, the big problem is shifting the conversation to the offer. So, pag isi-shift na nila conversation to the offer, they would start over-analyzing shocks. What if I tell Camille na nag-offer ako ng vitamin shocks? Baka mabado yan sa, sa akin? Baka mag sa, sa akin? Baka bumaba yung tingin niya sa akin? Ako, if I offer Camille a business, tapos malaman niyang networking shocks, baka magalit to sa akin? Nako, wag, nako hindi ko alam. Paano ko ba? Nako, anyway, nice to meet you again, Camille. Bye-bye. Mentor, wala talaga akong ma-invite. Diba? It is because you have a lot of people you could talk but you're making it complicated every time you talk to them. So for me, to simplify things, no, every time I talk to people, I try to simplify it thinking of it this way. No? What if I'm not a Yusana distributor, I'm selling Mercedes-Benz or I'm se selling insurance and you're a long-lost friend? Of course, diba, yung human being to another, wait Camille, how are you? Ano, you're married na? Uh, kumusta ka na? Are you still based in the Philippines? Uy, by the way, Camille, ano pala? Right now, I'm connected with Mercedes-Benz. Gusto mo bang bumili? Nang, naghanap ka bang car? Bili ka naman. Ah, okay. Hindi ka naghanap ng Benz. Uy, Camille, kapag meron kang friend, naghanap ng Benz, share mo naman yung contact details ko. Naghanap ako ng... Nagano kasi, kaka-start ko lang. Gusto ko naghanap, gusto ko makabenta ng marami. Diba? Well, anyway, kunyari, insurance. Oh, hi Camille, how are you? Or, are you married na? Kumusta ka ngayon pandemic? Are you still based in the Philippines? Ay, by the way, Camille, may insurance ka na ba? I'm connected kasi with Sun Life right now, eh. Uy, Camille, baka naman you have time. Gusto mong pakinggan. Diba? It's as simple as that. So, if it's you, Sana, Uy, Camille, kumusta ka na? Long time no see, ah. Oh, how are you during the pandemic? Are you still working? 
O nga, no, parang hirap. Kaya nga talaga right now, talagang dapat nagpa-vitamins tayo. Ikaw ba, Camille, nagpa-vitamins ka? Familiar ka ba sa iyo sana? Uy, hindi ka pala familiar. Uy, Camille, baka may time ka naman kasi I started you sana as a business two weeks ago. Baka willing ka to check it out. Kahit mag-zoom lang tayo one-on-one. Mga 20 minutes lang naman, 30 minutes. Ah, okay. Gusto mo pala yung made in China, 50 cents. Sige, <laughs> sa made in China, babay. ba diba? So at the end of the day, if, if they don't like it, so what? ba diba? Binantahan mo Mercedes-Benz. Ayaw niyang bumuli ng Mercedes-Benz. Gusto niyang bumuli ng Kia. Why feel hurt about it? Hindi niya afford eh. Iba yung taste niya eh. It's not as if nagbenta ka ng gaw-gaw, trinay mo siyang lukuhin and di ba? Nabuko ka niya and nalaman niya yung modus mo. Eh, hindi naman ganun yung natin. Every time you offer products, you're offering them the best of the best. Di ba? Every time you're offering business, yung business natin, di ba? Listed sa NYSE. Di ba? Hindi mo type, di sige, magbenta kang fishbowl. Di ba? Magbenta kang alcohol. Di ba? There are so many businesses naman for me, ba't ka pa maghahanap ng business? Ito, mobile app based. Di ba? Online based. So for me, every time you invite, Diba? Don't make it a big deal. Make it as casual as possible. Diba? Hindi ka nag-offer ng Kia. Hindi ka nag-offer ng kumakarag-karag na kotse. Nagbibenta ka ng Ferrari. Nagbibenta ka ng Mercedes-Benz. Diba? Kapag Ferrari ang binibenta mo, tapos nagbenta ka sa tao, eh hindi niya afford. Maka-hurt ka ba? Hindi. Mas maiinsulto pa nga yung person na hindi niya ma-afford yung Ferrari mo. So, it's the same thing about Yusana. Kung hindi niya afford, di ba, mas gusto niya ng Ampalaya capsule over Yusana, eh bahala sa sa buhay niya. Diba? So, don't overthink and yun, make it as casual as possible. And if you have that mindset, guys, sobrang dali mag-invite. Very true. Ayan. So, very well said. Tama ba? Do not complicate things. And for sure, ayan, natatawa kayo kasi nakaka-relate kayo. Diba? And maybe, diba, some of us, yun naman talaga yung iniisip before we invite. So, grabe talaga, no? Um, very practical learning. Thank you so much, um, Mentor Ryan Tan. So once again, next then let's give another round of a virtual clap to our speaker. So thank you so much for um, a lot of learnings and powerful insights that you have shared with us tonight. So you have been truly inspired. Ako personally, no, um, some of my takeaways are yung three C's, of course, diba? how to grow the team. And ano no yung pinaka nag-hit talaga sa akin for tonight is ano yung huling slide the ba I mean second to the last slide which is build a life that you don't need a vacation from so own your day right own your time and own your life so grabe talaga no I'm sure um all of you are inspired and excited and have a lot of energy na no to really work hard for our week so ayan um to end our meeting for this evening so we'll be having some of our announcements so our announcement for the week so these are our online learning series beginning with our uh, monday hustle which is tonight diba? so on wednesday naman we'll be having our power hours so learn on how to do your abc or edification skills and so with our goal director so goal director chris Lakwanan and ayan uh, we have also no um one of our elite circle to share her story coach Dan Gomez so and on Friday and we'll be having our health and freedom with our Ruby directors and executive goal directors no other than mentor Atelie Avena and coach Saldi Lizardo so make sure guys that you will not miss out our trainings. And of course, don't forget to subscribe on our MLM 101 kasi dito guys, di ba, pwede mong balik-balikan all of the learnings. Nabusog ka ba tonight? So definitely, we have a lot of um another trainings or set of trainings na posted on our MLM 101. Kaya dapat nandun ka. Okay? And So to end the night, don't forget to attend your meeting after meeting. Wag mong ikip sa sarili ang mga learnings, no? But share it to your team. So have a great night, everyone. Once again, this is your host, Camille Yap, signing off. Bye, guys.